waiting on Amazon. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I about forgot what day it was. It is Christmas Day 2021. We have went through a whole year. I can't hardly believe it. It seems like we just had New Year's and here we are right back there again. So I figured for anybody sitting at home or just out shopping, spending those uh, Amazon gift cards you got, I would come on live. I figured there's no reason to go shopping alone. So I'll just pop in and spend a little time with you. And of course, as always, show you some products as per Amazon rules. Now, if you are new to Amazon Live, there is a carousel right below the video. If you're on desktop, it goes this way. Mobile, it goes up and down. Now, at any time, you can click on either end and you can see all the products I'm talking about. Now, if you happen to be watching over on YouTube, I've got a link you can pop over to see the products, watch on Amazon Live. And while we are live on Amazon, there is a chat feature. Now, if you're watching the recording, there is no chat feature on Amazon. It, it's only while we're live. And that's why you need to click that follow button so you know when I'm live. You can come in, say hi, ask questions about the products I'm showing. These are products I use. And usually I know quite a bit about them. There's a few things like when I... I get something new where I'm like, uh, I'm not sure yet, but for the most part, I might be able to help you out. I always have a trusty uh, tape measure in case we uh, want to know how big something is or what it does. So I'm glad you're here. We are getting ready for New Year's and I plan on starting the New Year's off well, on a good foot, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's been a crazy couple of years. And I think 2022 is going to be amazing. So I'm going to try to, because I am broadcasting on my brand new YouTube channel for the first time. I want to make sure I watch over there. Not like I have subscribers or anything, but I did a shopping channel just to show products over there and do some demos. So I figured Christmas Day, great day to put up a first video and it's going to be live from Amazon. So one of the first things I have for you today is something that I found and I had to buy it. I was like, it is so unique and it is so different. I love the look. I just, I don't, I'm not a hot dog fan. I eat hot dogs. I'm not a huge hot dog fan, but I love this item. So let me grab it. And of course the cord's going to get stuck. Mm -hmm. We have tongs. If that gives you any indication of what we've got today. Yes. These little tongs come with it. They're not the best tongs, but if they're all you got, they work. And this, pretty retro. Yes, it's got fingerprints on it because it gets used. We may even find some crumbs in it. You never know. But this is a hot dog. Hot dog toaster maker, whatever you want to call it. And yes, it's not shiny new. Like I said, I use this. So... You put your hot dogs right in here. You open up your buns and put them in here. And then it's like a toaster. So you're going to put down your button. You can also decide how hot, how long you want to cook. So it's got one through five. And that's going to be how long it stays in there. Now for a hot dog out of the refrigerator, you're probably going to need a five. But you may not want the buns in there that long. So what I do, put the hot dogs in, let it start, and then I just flip my buns in to warm them up. 
I don't really want them toasted. I just want them warm. So then I put those in. If you think, oh, it's done. No problem. We have a stop button. Click that. Stop it just like a toaster. So I love the look. It's cool. It's different. And I was worried because when I first bought it, I did. I was just so excited. But I thought, what about that hot dog grease or juice that drips? I don't want that in there. That's gross. Don't ever put a hot dog in my new hot dog toaster. Don't worry. It's okay. This little tray comes right out so you can wash it. And then put it right back in and you're good to go. So no, you don't have crumbs. You don't have hot dog juice sitting down in the bottom of your hot dog. What do they even call this? I think it's a hot dog cooker, hot dog toaster. I don't know. I just think it's cute. And it's that bright red. And actually, it's really bright red. I like the retro look. It says retro right on it. See? So there is my nostalgia hot dog toaster. Well, Merry Christmas, Evans. Nice to have you joining us. I hope you guys are all having a great Christmas. I'm sitting here in sunny Las Vegas. No snow. Maybe you got a white Christmas. Then again, it. I've got friends back in Southern Illinois and they're warmer than Vegas today. So I'm sure it's snowing somewhere. I don't know where. It's not here and it's not in Southern Illinois. <laughs> I'm sure you get up to Montana, all those areas, they've got snow because they have snow like nine months out of the year. <laughs> they always have snow. It's crazy up there. And I hope Santa found you and brought you something cool. Santa brought me licorice. And I know what you're thinking, Cheryl, licorice? Yes, I love licorice. I don't have it very often, so it was kind of a treat. Let me put my toaster up. <coughs> Evan says, no white Christmas for us in Michigan. 48 degrees. No kidding. Holy moly's. I figured Michigan was kind of counted as that it's cold and snowing. But I guess not. <laughs> It's, it's been a crazy year. I don't know if uh, this means it's going to be super hot this summer since we haven't had a real cold Christmas. We've been cold here in Vegas. We're colder than what Southern Illinois is today. And we're much colder than what uh, Texas has been. But we're not extremely cold. And we haven't had, we had a little dampness come in from California for Two days this week, nothing else. It was supposed to rain today. We planned on rain on Christmas, but it's not raining. It's sunny and nice, and I'm okay with that. I figured if I'm going to sit here, I'm going to come in and chit-chat with all of you. And let me see what I've got. Oh. The next item is something I consider a food group because it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things. Popcorn. When I was growing up, it was a big deal. We had our basement partially refinished. It wasn't, you know, anything fancy. It was just for us kids to go down and watch TV. So we weren't in my mother's living room getting, you know, our feet on the couch and all those things that were no-nos. So on weekends, my dad would take our old popcorn popper, which was one of the big black metal ones that you stir on the stove, had the red handle, the little red knob. That was our popcorn popper. He would make three big pans of that, put it in a paper grocery bag, and we would go downstairs to watch TV. Now keep in mind, 
back then we only had where I lived three channels and to get those three channels also meant you had to turn the antenna which I didn't we didn't have one downstairs to adjust it so us kids would have to run upstairs to that TV in the living room and use the adjuster for the big antenna on the roof so even and that's usually the same night we had a soda which we didn't have a lot of so it was kind of different growing up back then but popcorn was a food group every weekend dad made a big old bag of popcorn and he sat down there with us and we watched one of our three tv channels and on amazon live we have eric merry christmas eric i hope uh, santa found you and brought you something cool <laughs> You know, I tried, I tried blackmailing Santa. I saw some other woman kissing him, took a picture, tried to blackmail him, but it didn't get me very far. So <coughs> I decided, fine. Santa had told me I was at the very top of his good list. I may have stayed up too late. Maybe my dog didn't let him in. I'm not quite sure what happened. But I'm going to have to try again next year. In fact, I've been trying for over 50 years. And I have had more Christmases where Santa never showed up than I have where he showed up. That's okay. I have fun all 364 other days. Can't make everybody happy. And Santa obviously is a bit picky. So let me show you this. This is my new popcorn popper. I bought it a couple of weeks ago and this is the single serve one. So it's for one person. It could be for two people, but that would never happen at my house. It's a single serve and they do have a bigger one that will make more popcorn, but this is good for me and my little dogs love popcorn. So it works out fine. If I make a big pan of popcorn on the stove, I eat the whole thing and then I shouldn't. So this has been working great. Also, if you love microwave popcorn because it's easy, it's not taking your stove, all that. If you buy the packages of microwave popcorn, they've got tons of chemicals in them. This, you have popcorn, and if you want, you have butter. That's it. No chemicals, no junk like that. So you're going to fill with popcorn kernels up to this line. Don't go over the line. I already been there, done that, tried it, burned my popcorn. I thought, oh, I'll make a fuller, fuller can canister of popcorn by putting more in it. Then it just gets packed in there and the center starts burning so that's not advisable if you need to make two but don't over pack it but you fill it up to the line with fresh popcorn pour it in your container then you can put a big chunk of butter right in here and it melts as it pops i'm a popcorn connoisseur <coughs> And one of the things I'm going to tell you is if you're finding your popcorn isn't popping, whether you pop it in this or any kind of any way you pop it, one of the things is popcorn needs to be somewhat fresh. If you have it an open bag or in an open container, it's going to lose its pop. One of the things is inside the popcorn kernel there is moisture and as that moisture gets heated up that's what makes it pop well if you have it just sitting out or the bag is getting old that moisture has been already evaporated out so therefore your popcorn doesn't pop as much so i always advise you to keep popcorn in an airtight container so it lasts longer and some brands are known to pop better but I love my popcorn. Kind of goes with my retro toaster. Well, good. 
Merry Christmas, Randall. Oh, hello, Calvin. I hope you're having a good Christmas, too. I hope Santa found you all and brought you something cool. Are you guys going live today? Or are you just staying at home and relaxing? Yes, we've got Eric Evans and Randall and Calvin in. It, it's kind of like a Christmas party now. Oh, he found your house. Well, that's good. He kind of slipped past mine for some reason. I'm still trying to figure it out because I am sure he told me the other Saturday when I saw him that I was on the good list. But I do know probably tomorrow, I thought maybe yesterday, but probably tomorrow, uh, the Amazon Santa is coming with some drones. <laughs> so I will have drones maybe tomorrow or the next day. Depends on when Amazon Santa gets here. Oh, Evans, he went past your house. That that old dude is losing it. I'm telling you, he bypassed a bunch of great people. I know we're on the good list. And Randall, put your uh, URL for your channel in the comments so that people can come over and visit you and Calvin and see what you've got. If you go over and visit them, they have all kinds of cool stuff. I guarantee it. And if you want to know about food, go over and check out Randall. Because let me tell you, he is the food connoisseur. He's been talking food for probably a hundred years, but he cuts it short a little bit. I go over there and he tells me the history of some of these brands. And I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh... Randall says, check out the movie Christmas in Mississippi, Christmas in Mississippi on Amazon. They put the key in the mailbox in Gulfport. So there's a Christmas in Mississippi on Amazon. Amazon Prime, I'm taking it. And I do watch Amazon Prime because I don't have cable TV. So I will check it out. You've been doing food since 1976. I mean, I've been eating food for a little longer than that, but I don't know nothing. I know, I know, I know popcorn and I know coffee. That's it. Amazon Prime. Very cool. I will go, I will check it out this evening because yeah, every night instead of some people watch their cable TV or whatever. I watch Amazon Prime. I go in and find a movie. <coughs> we won't tell you what criteria I have for a movie because I either want to watch something really funny and it has to be funny, even if it's stupid funny, you know, one of those where you sit and you go, that's so dumb, it's funny. Or Someone has to be killed within the first 30 seconds or I leave. If we aren't going to have, I like cartel movies and action movies and things like that. There you go. There is a Randall shop on Amazon. Go over, click, give him a follow so that you can check him out. Like I said, food, 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 you know food. And if you don't know food, you will by the time you get done. And sometimes he has a special guest, his son, Calvin. And so I never know what they're going to be talking about. It can get crazy then. Can't trust these kids on here, you know. Uh, Randall says, I have four small parts in that movie. Each part is about a second long. Don't blink. Oh, that is awesome. You know what? I will, maybe I'll have to, you know, watch it in slow motion so I don't miss it. But what you're, what you're feeling here, Randall, you never tell anybody how small your part is. You just say, yeah, 
I have four parts in it. Mm, they're smaller, but I'm, you know. So, yeah, we'll check that out tonight. And it is Christmas, and I haven't watched really any Christmas. I don't think I've watched any Christmas movies. Seven minutes. Hey, that is movie star level, Randall. We are not joking about this. You know, oh, you're in it for one minute, 18 seconds. That's still movie star level. Everybody had to start somewhere. Although you're on Amazon almost every day. So you've passed movie star and went on to super celebrity. Uh, I'm looking at it that way. Oh, I see. That's, oh, that's when you're in. Okay. That way I don't have to watch the whole thing slow because that could be a little, that could take a long time and I might get bored. By then I'd be doing something else because I sit here when I watch movies. Yeah, those are your markers. Seven minutes, 51 minute, 118 and the 112. There you go. Because when I watch movies, I sit here and I'm on my computer and I've got two screens up doing whatever I decide I'm doing. And my big screen is playing the movie. So sometimes I will, yeah, I miss things. But I did watch 72 episodes of a show that was in complete Spanish, no English. Let me tell you, I, st I thought it was a movie, you know, like a hour and a half movie. No. Then I figured out after the first one, it was 72 episodes, so I couldn't stop. So I know very little Spanish. So I had to sit and read closed captions. It was about Pablo Escobar and I had a good time. Uh, it's about rebuilding of Gulfport after Katrina. Oh, I love down in that area. You know, we've talked before. I love Pensacola. I lived there two different times. I loved all along there. I, uh, if I leave here, I would head back that way. That would be one of my, my options. I might try... Just to stay over here, if I decide I needed to stay close to Vegas, I'd, I'd probably just pop to Arizona. Texas, I, I would say I might go to Texas, but I've never been there in my life. Never even drove through the state. So I don't know about that. Florida and down south that way, I could do that. Yeah, you have cruising the coast in October. That would be good. I could do that too. That would, yeah, you get a lot of cars. We were talking about that on your live stream. It's amazing. I would, I would be in heaven just watching, seeing all the cars. I need more cars, more car shows. I wish Amazon would let me do car shows on Amazon. That was fun. We kind of put up. Now I'm sitting here with you, but I would like to be able to find a way to get out to the local car shows and go and be able to show you all some cool stuff. Yes, that cruise in the coast would be my right in my ballpark. Y'all wouldn't see me. I just I would be out there taking pictures and video until I dropped, take a rest and get up and do it again. Because I believe you said there was like 8,000 cars. That's beyond crazy. I haven't been to one that big. No. I mean, I go to SEMA and do media, but, and I did, LS Fest West is, was not near that big, but yeah, I'd have a blast. I'd like to get back up to Reno for hot August nights too. It all just takes money, which is why I'm here. 
so I can show you some cool products. <laughs> and oh, 9,000 plus cars. Sign me up. <laughs> I could drive my little old car all the way over there. And just, I may just stay. Just have to load up the dog too then. I'm going to make it one year. I'm going to do it. That's on my list. And there's some rat rod shows down uh, in Louisiana I want to go to. Yeah, I'm going to have to just buckle up and start traveling. That's that's my next go, goal. <laughs> See you soon, Randall. You and Calvin have a great day. And I will pop by and see y'all again real soon. <laughs> and speaking of what I'm supposed to be doing here, but that's okay. We're having a good day. It's Christmas. We're laid back. We're relaxing. No hurries. So this is the Lavoit humidifier. That's right. I live in the desert. And that means the air is dry. And then I turn on a heater. The air is really dry. As in, super dry. To where, you know, your skin gets itchy. Your lips are always chapped. Everything. Your nose is just, oh, yeah. I'm not going to go into that. Because it's cold season. We all know this, how it works. So, here is one of the humidifiers I bought and was trying out by Lavoite. I believe is how you say it. Now, this is a smaller one. I have a huge one that I use, too, and sometimes I have on the stream. But this one works amazing. Now, on the top here, you can see where the steam comes out. And you can actually rotate it. So, you can decide which way you want the steam to go in case you want to, you know, not put it right over the baby's crib. Or maybe you don't want it coming onto your desk or whatever you can turn it so that it's kind of aimed another way. Now, this also has three settings down here. And that is going to depend on how much steam it puts out. Now, you can have it over here is if you want, it's got a light in here that's really nice. And that way, you kind of know it's on and it gives a little night light like if you're using it in the kids' room or in a room at night and you want that little bit of night light, you can do that. Or you don't have to have the night light on, but you have three settings either way. It works really, I mean, it puts out, when you put this on three, it puts out some water, some steam, some humidity. It will, yeah, I was surprised by it. And I'll show you this. And you just unscrew this, put your water in, put the cap back on really tight, and you're going to set it back down, and you're ready to go. Now, I'm going to tell you, I use, wait, I got to hit the hole. <laughs> I use purified water only. Because if I use the tap water here, it would be filled with all kinds of sediment and stuff, and you get build up, and then all the little tubes and everything internal gets built up and you've got a problem because it's not going to last you so this does hold eight cups of water like i said the the little spout here is 360 so you can turn your your steam stream any way you want it it's got three seconds uh it'll go 24 hours on low and it has an auto turn off so when the water gets down low it will automatically turn off which is always a bonus i wouldn't leave it on constantly if you're going to work or going to do something i would go ahead and turn it off but because i never trust an auto turn off i don't care what it is i just don't trust them but it does have one <clears throat> i'm just kind of leery of things i'd rather be cautious than have an issue and next up, we have something for your butt. I'm just going to be blunt today. I usually say bum. But 
I don't want to confuse you, you know, with that, that special person that you know that you always call a bum. Yeah, I don't want to confuse you. This isn't for them. This is for what you sit on, that part of your body. Because if you spend a lot of time in a chair like me, one of the things that happens is you start having back aches. You are putting pressure on your coccyx, which then just leads all the way up your spine, even to your head, your neck and your head. Pretty soon you may have headaches, all kinds of things. Your back feels tired because you get sloppy posture. And we've got something to help with that. Yep. It's a butt, butt cushion. It is by Extreme Comforts. And when I first got this, they uh, I was sent this to try out by the brand. And I was all confused because I had it like this. And I thought, that is not comfortable. And why is this cut out? I don't get it. Well, it's easy to understand if you know how to work the product. I obviously didn't sit on it like this and yes mine is not sparkly clean it's got doggy hair on it it has maybe some crumbs i don't know what because it gets set on a lot so this is how you set on it so your coccyx is going to come right in in this area so that it takes pressure off of it and it's not getting shoved up it also as you can see has this so it's going to what it did is it forced my me to hold my legs more straight and that instead of just willy nilly them all over the place like I tend to do. And that way it gives you better posture. Now, this is a memory foam. As you can see, it has some give. It also pops right back up. So what I, when I first got it, once I figured out how to sit on it right, I laughed and I said, this is like your butt getting a hug. It literally hugs your butt because you can sink in a little bit, but it's not going to smush down and, and be nothingness. In fact, every office chair I've ever had, I don't care how much they tell you, there's lots of cushion in the seat. No. After you sit on for a little while, pretty soon, that cushion doesn't mean nothing. And my butt hurts. And my back hurts. And my hips hurt. Now, I like to sit on this so I don't have to worry. And it also gives me a boost so I look a little taller. So, we'll put this right down in here. And, oops, I put it back a little too far. <laughs> See? Now my butt's getting a hug. Mm -hmm. Makes me a happier person. If your butt hasn't had a hug today, in fact, I can even lower my chair a little bit now because it pushed me up. So there you go. One more cool thing. And I do hope all of you are having a wonderful Christmas. It is here, Christmas 2021. I was didn't know if we were going to make it, but we did. And now we are off to a new year. I hope you guys got some great plans coming up for 2022. I expect to be here chit-chatting with you. Not every day, but at least a few times a week. And we'll have some great products. I've got tons of new stuff coming so you want to make sure you click that follow button so you don't miss them. Like I said, I think if if Amazon Santa can get here, I'll have some drones to show you. I, I wish they were here right now and I'd be outside playing with them, but they're not. So I'm in here. That could be a problem. Get me too many cool things to play with and I'll forget to come show you. All right. Well, hello, AM. Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I would say uh, a new computer, <laughs> I don't, a calculator, 
so he can add up all of his money? Ah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Because everybody is into it now. Young, old, computer geeks, non-computer geeks. Everybody oh, is into it. Uh, let me see here. What? Do, oh, crap. Let me find this. Oh, AM, I think everybody has. And if they haven't, I'd be shocked. I even know some uh, older people that, you know, you wouldn't think. Oh, yeah, they are right on that. We have our little groups and we chit chat about it. <laughs> uh, next up, I have the Safe Rest Mattress Protector. This is a top seller. And I know why. <laughs> yeah, see, see, AM, I have to kind of watch what I say here. So, but you know what I'm saying. We have, going to save your mattress. Because I, oh, I know. I wish I had done some of that too. I was, I was a little late. Wish I would have done it, though. Have you ever watched one of the uh, science? Uh, they talk about your bed mattress and all the little things that live and eat your dead skin cells. They're like microscopic, but they're a little, yeah, meh, that's what they kind of look like. And they eat your dead skin cells. And it's all good. You have to have them. They're, it's good for your body. But when you sleep and your dead skin cells and your hair and <clears throat> all that flakes off, it gets in your mattress. And those little creepy crawly things that are, they're good for you. They look gross. They also get in your mattress. And your mattress over 10 years builds up so much dead skin cells, hair, dander, sweat, all kinds of gross stuff is in your mattress. I mean, extremely gross stuff. So after I watched that, I kind of freaked out a bit because I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Even though I know it, it's just part of life. I personally don't want to sleep with that. I don't want to sleep on that. So, I got me a couple of mattress protectors. And at my age, I remember back when mattress protectors were like a big plastic bag you put over the mattress to protect it. Well, they're not that way anymore. Thank God. Because every time you moved, it was, you know crinkle crinkle and you sweat and everything else this is a terry cloth on top okay so it's not if you do sweat it's gonna you know be able to absorb it you're not laying on plastic or rubber i remember rubber sheets for your kids whenever they were little and they wet the bed there were rubber sheets so that it didn't soak in yeah this isn't the same now this this is waterproof so it is a rubbery plastic but it's not real thick like the old ones this is a thin but it's gonna keep all that stuff from going into your mattress and living there in that dark place that all it's gonna do is just as my mind sees is it's just going to get gross. I've never cut open a mattress to see what's in there. And I'm not going to because then I'd never sleep on one. But with this, then when all them little creepy crawly microscopic things fall off, all that dead skin, your kids, your pet have potty accidents, you're sweating, all of that. It's going to be here. It's not going to go to your mattress. This can just go in the washing machine 
and you can wash it all away. It's not living with you in your mattress. You're not sleeping on it every night. You can take it off and wash it. The sides here are super stretchy, so it's going to fit your mattress tight. And it's almost a nylon, silky feel. So it is going to fit well. I love these because, yeah, that, that one documentary grossed me out that much. I know it's just part of it. And I, yeah, in a way I wished I hadn't watched it because it was so gross. But now I know how not to have to deal with that. I can keep all the gross stuff on a mattress protector and wash it away rather than sleep on it every night. Yeah, I got to watch better stuff sometimes <laughs> and so don't want to sleep with all that stuff yeah now i'm all covered in little linty things get you one of these safe rest mattress covers i was i was kind of excited when they sent it to me and they sent me the first one i'm like yeah i have to have those. So when you take one off, you can put another one on because I am not sleeping on that stuff. And let's see. Okay. Now, instead of watching another documentary, Randall, one of the other live streamers here on Amazon, he and his son Calvin stopped in and he said to check out the Amazon Prime movie, Christmas in Mississippi. And it is about the rebuilding of Gulfport after Katrina. So got nothing to do and you got Amazon Prime, Ch jump over there and watch that. And watch for Randall. He's on it. So there you go. I Instead of watching creepy crawly documentaries, maybe I'm going to go over and watch that tonight. <laughs> do y'all have a favorite Christmas movie? I don't, I don't watch Christmas shows, really. I remember one about Annabelle, the cow, and it had Randy Travis. I love that movie, but I was so sad. So I don't watch sad movies. It, it's a good movie. It's a, uh, it's probably made for kids, but it doesn't matter. I like it. And here we go. Another great item for your house. This has nothing to do with creepy crawlies other than it won't let creepy crawlies get in your coffee. You know, like the little creepy crawlies that come in in the spring. Yeah. And it's going to keep your coffee fresh. Coffee Gator sent this to me to test out. And because I love coffee. And when you have fresh ground coffee, you want it to stay fresh. You don't want it... You grind it ahead of time so that you don't have to get up at oh dark 30 in the morning wake the whole house up with a coffee grinder because they are not quiet. Then your coffee tastes stale. And it's like, what's the point? I got to fix. This A is airtight. And up here, you can set, let me find my buttons, what day. And you can move it to what month. Your coffee, either you put it in there so you know when you put it in or what you're going as as your best use by date. So that is awesome. It's going to keep it fresh. And I'm going to show you something now. Of course, it looks, I love the look of this. And I like this nice little, mm. now I don't have coffee in it right now because I'm showing it to you. And I, if there was coffee in it, I've about spilled it before, so I learned my lesson. I took the coffee out. I'm like, yeah, it's great, but I can't use it for coffee when I'm going to show it to you. Inside is stainless, and you have this right here, which is a filter. This filter is going to let CO2 out, keep, keep oxygen from coming in, and let CO2 out. Yeah. And it comes with four 
more filters and a little scoop. Now you don't want this filter to get wet, so to keep it from getting wet, you put your thumb on it. And I'm going to try to do it without popping everything out. And it comes right out. You can wash your canister and then just put it back in. And you're going to put the white down, the metal up. Oh, let me get it in there right. It's harder to do when I'm trying to talk to you on camera and not looking. There we go. Just like that. And pop your little month thingy in. or you, Yeah. And there you go. So, the coffee gator. It does come in different sizes. So, depending on how much coffee you like to grind ahead of time, you'll want that size. I think this 16 ounce is a great size because it's not too big, but it's not so small. You have to keep refilling it constantly. And there you go. Look at the little gator. Isn't he cute? I think so. All right. I'm trying to figure out where I'm putting everything so I can not get confused. And I would start singing Christmas songs, but nobody wants to hear that. So if you're just tuning in, be sure to hit the follow button. Say hi in the chat. Let us know if you got a white Christmas so far. Nobody has had a white Christmas that's been in the chat. Maybe you have. Out here in Las Vegas, we are sunny and warm. Well, we're in the 50s. So it's, it's sunny and nice. I'll put it that way. We had rain earlier in the week, but not today. Next up, I have so many items today because it's Christmas and I got nothing else to do but spend it with you. Don't you love that? Here we go. Yes, these are still on special. Now, I want to tell you something, especially now that uh, there's still deals going on after Christmas. You know, today we've got some deals in our stream. There's going to be more coming up. When you get something that is on special, be sure to, to go ahead and complete your transaction for getting it paid for and shipped and all that so you don't lose the special. Most specials, if they begin and end on certain days, it will be midnight Pacific time that the date changes. So you want to make sure that you don't accidentally leave things in your cart too long. Now, there are things that are on special only a certain amount of time, you know, like a few hours. Watch those close. You could miss them. So anytime you get something that's a deal in your cart, you want to make sure that you carry through with that transaction so you don't lose it. And... Just like that. These cutting boards are dishwasher safe. They are soft. So they're not soft, like super soft, but they're soft enough that they're not going to damage your knives. So when you cut, they are not dulling your knives, which can be a real pain. They also have the juice moat, all three sides. You get all three of them for this low, low price. And this up here is a non-slip or non-slide, non-skid. I don't know what the word is, but it is like a rubber. So it's not going to let your cutting board slide because there are little knobs on the back. The little buttons that they sit on. So that way it's up off your counter and it doesn't move around. Now these also, this part, the gray part here. They come in different colors. So if your kitchen is a different color and you want it to match, you can check those out too. So awesome, awesome, awesome little cutting boards. And yes, you can use them. If you don't want the juice moat, you can use this side because both sides have the little knobbies. 
Yep, and they're on special. Just for you. In fact, I put them in here just because I knew that's what you were looking for. And I wanted you to be able to get them. I always take guesses. And there you go. Don't they look nice? All right. Let's see here. We've got more great things coming up. It is... Oops. <coughs> it is Christmas 2021. We're going to be New Year's very soon. Let me see here. Oops, I hit the wrong button over here. We're going to... There you go. Just, this is my first live stream that I'm live streaming on Amazon and a brand new YouTube channel that I started where I'm going to be showcasing products and demonstrating them. So what a day to start it, Christmas. Everybody loves Christmas. Doesn't matter whether you celebrate it or not, you love it just because you're probably off work unless you work in some businesses. Uh, I know some of the restaurants are open. Of course, the casinos are open. So some things are still open and people are working. So if you go out and you're getting gas at the gas station or you've went out to dinner or whatever, be sure to be extra nice to those people that are working because they gave up time with their families just so you could get what you needed. So give them a tip. If nothing else, give them a big smile. They deserve it. I used to uh, work a lot of holidays because I was a bartender. So I didn't mind working holidays. Most time you work a holiday and the people are super nice. So be one of those nice people. Don't ruin their day. They're already giving up a lot. Next up, we have the anti-fatigue mat. And I know the lighting in here and my camera freak out when I do this. And I look like I'm glowing. But this is going to be good for your feet, for your knees, your ankles, your hips, and on up. Because when your feet, when you're standing on a hard floor, it's putting all of that pressure from your feet, which has several bones, from your feet all the way up. And it affects everything. So this is what they call an anti-fatigue mat. And it is cushion. It's like you know how marshmallows, when you push down on marshmallows and then you let go of them, they pop back up? That's what this does. So it has a foam, but it's not so soft that it's going to go flat and stay flat. It it just cushions it. It's amazing. I didn't, I didn't think it was, you know, anything special until, because they said, oh, can we send you a anti-fatigue mat to chat, chain chart? try my mouth i can't figure out what i'm saying i said sure what's a mat it's a mat and as you can see it's got a little bit of thickness here to it the top is a plastic so you can just wipe it off if you've spilled on it anything like that and the bottom is a foamy so it's going to stick to your linoleum, your hardwood, your garage floor. If you want to use it in the shop, if you're using it in the kitchen, you probably got linoleum, something like that. This isn't going to slide. So when you step on it, you're not going to have to worry. But if you're spending a lot of time on your feet, whether cashiers, uh, baking, cooking, all of those things, here you go. This will save your feet. Your feet will be happy, which means you'll be happier. Been there, done that. Had the backache and the headaches to prove it. So, so far, we have had popcorn. We've had hot dogs. We have hugged your butt. Kept you from sleeping with creepy crawlies in the mattress. And now we're helping your feet. Next up, we are going to make sure you get a good night's rest and your neck isn't all cranked out of whack. From the Beckham Collection. 
Yeah. This pillow is, it's soft, but it's not flat. Kind of like the anti-fatigue mat. It gives, but it doesn't just go flat. It just comes back up and it is so nice. And it's going to help if you're a, especially side sleepers or back sleepers where you want that per, that extra support for your neck so that it's not all kinked out this is it so i don't know what else to tell you it's it's a pillow and it's nice and when you wash it it doesn't clump up you know how some pillows get those clumps and then before you you, you know it you're just sleeping on clumps of that foam filler stuff not this one it won't do that so it's going to stay nice and snugly in fact, maybe I should go take a nap and try it out again. You know, like testing purposes, of course. Okay. I better let go of my pillow or I will be snoozing. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I was waiting on Santa that never showed up. <coughs> last time I do that. Although I say that every year. Next up, I have for you something I bought a while back. And let me get this out. I Black and Decker. I have several coffee makers. In fact, I probably have more coffee makers than any live streamer. I know. Because I love coffee and I love trying out coffee makers. So I just buy them. I see them and I buy them because I want to know. Now, this is a single serve coffee maker. It comes with the to go mug. So you get the to go mug. And this means you can make your coffee, stick your cup under there, wait for it to be done, which only takes a couple minutes, pop that lid on and be out the door. Because as soon as this is done making coffee, it turns off. So you don't have to worry, oh no, did I turn the coffee maker off? Done for you. And let me open it up. I always have it in front of me and it's like, how do I open it? There you go. It has the filter. You can also take this out to wash it, put it in, and stick that in, pour your water in back here, shut your lid, and you are ready to roll. Oh, I didn't shut that right, because I probably didn't, did I not put my, oops, guess I shouldn't have done that. I got something on there wrong, but I want to show you how lightweight it is, because you can tell it's small, so if you have... A small area you want to put it in or you need something lightweight because if you are a snowbird or you go camping you don't want weight in that trailer or that RV and as you can tell right now I'm holding it with two fingers so you don't have to worry it is not gonna be heavy it's not gonna take a lot of room I can hold it with two fingers that's my two finger test. And I do weigh a lot of things because we have uh, traveled for work in a fifth wheel and weight makes a difference. So that is something I think is important with things that you use all time that you may want to take with you, such as a coffee maker. If you can save weight, you can also don't have a glass craft that will possibly fall and break. Here you go. Each of you can just make your coffee and you're good to go. Get another coffee mug any size or just use it for yourself and they have to fend for themselves. <laughs> I'm not about that. All right, let me see now. We have, I'm telling you, I brought out everything today. Uh, well, hello there. Oh, I got to read this one. It is Mike, a.k.a. Mikey, Big Mike, King of Livestreams. Merry Christmas to you, too. 
<coughs> I always have to read that name because I that's a very long name. I can't always remember all of it. But ah uh, oh you got brand new Bluetooth headphones. Awesome. I got some uh Treb Lab sent me some, so I've been excited to get those. I mean, you must have been on the good list then. I, however, wasn't. <laughs> Apparently. Although that's okay because I get stuff all the time. And I've got some new stuff coming. Maybe you'll be here tomorrow. We'll be adding to the stream. Some drones. And if I... If I'm not careful, I won't have any hair to worry about because I'll have a drone end up in my hair. That's always my big fear with them. But I hope you're having a good Christmas. Maybe you had a white Christmas. We've been looking. Nobody's had a white Christmas. Not, not Michigan, not Southern Illinois. Of course, not California, Southern California. And not down in Gulf port there's just uh in vegas we didn't get snow either although if i go out on my back porch i can look in the mountain and see some snow maybe but that's as close as i want to get i don't do snow so next up mct oil powder plus collagen with prebiotic acacia this is cool. They sent it to me and said, want to try it in your coffee? Because I love coffee. I said, sure. Let me tell you, it smells like cake, like white cake. When you make a white cake and you, you're mixing, that's what it smells like to me. I love the smell. And it is a very fine powder. And I, oops, I have been putting it in coffee you can also mix it into like if you're making smoothies you can put it in there it's good for you and one of the things i loved about it is it is keto friendly so if you're trying to watch your carbs and all that it is keto paleo friendly i'm not i'm not real up on the paleo but it is keto paleo friendly non-gmo don't want none of that GMO junk. It is gluten-free. For those of you that are watching out for gluten, you can have this. Sugar-free. Don't need that. The creamers, the flavored creamers you buy at the store in the containers, they have so much sugar. It's crazy. It is dairy-free, so don't want dairy? Here you go. And it is grass-fed collagen. So, this is amazing. I love it. I put some in my coffee. I put a little bit in the cup. Then I make my coffee. And it's so good. It's kind of like having a dessert coffee. So, instead of having a big piece of cake, I have a dessert coffee. Although, sometimes I have a big piece of cake. But I, don't, I, I can't do that every day. So, there you go. Awesome for your smoothies. Awesome for your coffee creamers. I'm sure there's a million uses for it. Those are just two things I use it for. Uh, let's see here. Mike says he got uh, new Bluetooth headphones. Battleship. Battleship chemistry and paper airplanes. Oh. See how you are? Oh. Oh, it's flight ready paper. And there's a oh, one of the books that shows you how to make different styles of paper airplanes. I loved paper airplanes when I was a kid. And my dad used to help us make all different kinds. And it was a test to see which ones flew better. And, of course, different paper makes a big difference, too. Well, hello, Alexa. Nice to have you here. Merry Christmas. I hope you're having 
good holidays, safe holidays, getting ready for the big new year. Oh, and Mike got an algebra kit. Yeah, no, that's... I, no, I just don't see the fun in that. <laughs> It'll be good for you, but... Oh, me and algebra. Yeah. Not everything can be fun in games, can it? I mean, I... I think it's great. Kids need to learn all kinds of math and you don't know you need it until you're older and you need it. Yeah, gotta learn it. Although it was not a joyful time in my life. I'm not going back to those days. So, uh, let me see here. Yes, it's Christmas and I'm streaming. You know what? There's a lot of people that maybe they, don't, they can't get out and go to families. In fact, I have a friend and she is homesick. And so she can't even have her family holiday. And there's a bunch of us that just don't have a lot to do. So I thought I would come on and stream. So anybody popping in, instead of sitting at home bored by themselves, they can come in, say hi, chit chat for a bit. It beats sitting by yourself doing nothing so and i uh was a bartender for 15 years and i think i worked every holiday there was in <laughs> then and there's always people that got nothing else to do not everybody had you know maybe they just can't get to families or with all this stuff going on some travel is limited so i thought i'd come on spend some time with our favorite people Oh, you use the algebra kit to draw. See? That's not what didn't cross my mind about that. I'm just thinking of all those problems they used to write out. Made my head spin. Uh I I don't know what time I'm ending the stream. I'm just uh I'm here. Whenever I get through, and then I will probably take a break and maybe stream again later. I'm going to see. Oh, we had uh, the, we had church. They did three special events yesterday. And they didn't have anything today. They had a breakfast, but then they've got, they had three events on Christmas Eve with a big program open to the public, everything. So that was all taken care of yesterday. Today, I'm sitting here with you. <laughs> and most people I know are out doing stuff. So I said, that's okay. I'm going to come and visit my Amazon peeps. And right here, because I, like I said, I bartended 15 years. So when Fine Dine asked if I would have kind of review their 14 piece bar set. I said, sure. I spent a lot of time with this. I have used, yeah, spent a lot of hours with bar sets. Not exactly bar sets. I didn't call them that at the time. Didn't know what it, I just did it. It was work. So let's take a look. First off, you have this stainless spoon. That is really nice. It is not a light plastic. It's got weight to it. It's heavy. It's shiny, it's twirly, it looks fancy. And you can always learn to hypnotize people and see if that helps. That crazy ant that just won't stop, try hypnotizing her. All right. And you also get six pore spouts to go on top of your bottles it will lessen somebody's pour instead of having that big open bottle and pouring like this and getting a whole bunch it's going to lessen it a bit and it looks a little fancier than just plain old open bottles uh also measuring cup this is a shot and a quarter 
stainless steel. This is three quarters of a shot. Looks fancy. Makes everybody think you're fancy. That's all that counts. They don't need to know any better. Got a flat bottle opener. This is one of my favorite pieces of it. I love this bottle opener. Mm -hmm. Also, stainless. Looks nice. Looks fancy. We have two stainless steel three ounce shot glasses. I'm telling you, it's going to look classy. It'll make your bar look classier, if nothing else. You don't have to know how to mix drinks. You don't have to know anything about it. You just have to look like you do. Also, two, count them two, stainless shakers. Now, when you got a shaker, what do you have to have to make it complete? A strainer. Also get a strainer. So, you can uh, do all that fancy chit-chat, porn, look like you know what you're doing. Whether you do or not, doesn't matter. It's all a psychological game. <laughs> and they also have... A little recipe book with some of your favorite cocktails. That way you really do know how to make things and not just grabbing and pouring and ending up with something nobody wants to drink. So you got the two shakers. You got the measure. You've got the shot glasses. You've got the pour spouts. A lot of pour spouts. Six pour spouts. Six, count them six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't hold them up. I'm just trying to get everything back in here so that it'll all go in the box. And the flat bottle opener. And the spoon that doubles as a way to hypnotize the crazy relative. So, that... is a way to class up your bar. I know you're probably getting ready to have New Year's parties. You're going to New Year's parties. Either make a great idea for your own bar or as a gift for your friend for their bar. And let's see here. It is on... No, it's not on special. I thought it was. Sorry about that. But it's still a great price. For this, for 14 pieces, and it's same. I think it's a great great idea for a gift yes 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 so check that out all right and mike says his brother got a nerf gun out oh, nerf guns i have been seeing nerf guns i saw them going out the door i i was out buying uh christmas presents for a kids christmas giveaway for one of the car clubs and Nerf guns were all the rage. <laughs> a lot of them. I think they'd be fun. Even at my age. I'd play with them. Ah. Yeah. I think they're a blast. I wish we'd had those when I was a kid. Wait a minute, we didn't have to maybe fight as much. We could just, you know, play Nerf guns. Had competitions because I was very competitive as a child. And I had to have certain types of competitions because my brothers are all big, like giant people. And so the only thing I could win at was something that took skill. <laughs> all right. What we have up next, again, coffee. Now, this one is heavy. This, if you don't mind weight, you're okay with this one. But if you're wanting a lightweight coffee maker, this is not it. Because this is a good bit heavier than the other little black and decker I just showed you. This is also a single serve. 
and it has over here you've got regular and bold so depending on whether you want your coffee a little stronger you can hit bold or regular pop this open and right there inside is your filter oh yeah mine <laughs> sorry mine still has coffee in it so here is your filter this piece here also comes out so you could wash it if need be it's got the second part of the filter so you've got a double filter going there let me make sure that's lined up because if this isn't lined up it won't shut properly and your water just goes back here yep i need to clean it again too because it's got a little build up from the water but easy to use works great and let me get this cord out this part down here does remove so you can wash it and clean out down here because as you can tell drips and spillages happen in fact i should probably take this right into the kitchen and get it cleaned up because i had to use it and then i didn't clean it i grabbed it to bring it out here and it shows so like i said this is an awesome coffee maker but it's not as lightweight as some of the other ones I have, but it's pretty much one of my best sellers. It goes like crazy, and I don't see returns. People love it. It just, if weight doesn't matter to you, and it's a little bit bigger, here you go. And I like the single-serve coffee makers. I When I started using those, because then... I have one kind of coffee I like. If someone else likes a different kind, we don't have a whole 5 or 12 cup pot of coffee that only one person likes. And everybody else has to wait because they don't like it. This way, everybody can use their own kind of coffee and be happy. No waiting. All right, next up is something I was sent by one of my friends when she was making fun of my non-ability to cook. And this is by Cuisinart. This is a hamburger press. She came to visit and figured out I am not a cook. But I really, really, really do not like to touch raw hamburger. So she sent this. You can put your hamburger in here press it out, and make a nice, perfectly round burger that looks good. Your hands are clean because you didn't have to touch it. And then it just, the bottom pops out so you can get your, your burger patty right off there. No problem. Now, what makes it even cooler? Oops. It has this, and I'm hoping you can kind of see. See, it's smaller because... I took this piece off. It was like that to make a regular burger. I take that off. And now, when I press it down, it's going to leave that little indent so I can make a stuffed burger without trying to push down with my hands and make the little indent to put in whatever you want. It does it right here. Pretty cool, huh? So, even though she was kind of making fun of me, I love this little thing. It is, it's been a lifesaver because I, like I said, I hate touching raw hamburger. I don't want to, I know a lot of people, oh, put baggies on your hand. That's, whatever, that takes too long. I'd rather use this so I can just get a little bit of meat, plop it in there and work it and make perfectly round burgers instead of those ones that look like they're all mangled on the side because I'm doing this. I got you covered. You don't have to be Betty Crocker to make good looking burgers. Trust me. And next up, hope you all are having a great Christmas. It is next week. We are starting 
2022. I can't believe it. I don't know if you got any special plans, but I'm ready. I'm ready to just be done with 2021. Let's go on, get started on 2022 and make it good. No more wasting time. We, we've been doing that for a couple of years. I'm ready to start fresh <coughs> right here with you. I like coming in and talking with you. So the next item I have is really hard to show you if I hold it. So I tell you what, I have a video that I made talking about it and showing it because it's much easier without having a table. It's extremely hard for me to show you. So that's why I did it this way because I'm like, I'm trying, I try to hold it and I try to show you and it doesn't work. So looking for a great little laptop table. I got one for you. This is the one I got before I had my surgery and I'm going to show it to you. Before I went in for surgery, I needed something that I could use while laying in bed or on the couch during recovery. So we ordered the song mix portable laptop table. Let's take a look at it. This is a bamboo laptop table. It has vents so your laptop doesn't overheat. And when we measure across the entire table, it comes out to 21 and 3 quarters inches. Now, the width is 13 and a half. This portion where your laptop can sit measures out at 14 and 1 quarter inches and raises to about 45 degrees. You can also, if you don't want to do that, you have up to six options, one being totally flat in case you want to use it for lunch. It also has an area for a cup and if you have anything you want to store, say a stylus pen, something like that, it does have a drawer that pulls out. Now, if you want to use it on your couch or a smaller area, you might want to know the width of the legs. Maximum width here is 28 inches across. It also raises to a maximum of 11 and a half inches. The legs fold down. It can be folded completely flat for portability, storage, anything like that. This piece does come off and can be stored in the little drawer in case you don't want it there while you're eating lunch. So go ahead, check it out. It might just be what you need. trying to fix my chair busted that is the song mix laptop table and my chair all of a sudden just i don't know what it's doing <laughs> hopefully i don't fall down so next up is a new item i bought and just got this week it's cute it's not very big and that's one of the things i wanted to show it to you because when I read the, the reviews and stuff, people were like, oh, it's so small. Well, it says it's uh, small. And it is. It is. I can't wait to get a couple plants in it. This is my new little pot. Now, it is eight inches, and I believe it's... Let's see, barely three inches across and that's from outside to outside. And the eight inches, there you go, is outside to outside. So it is small for little, uh, I've got some cute little zebra ala, aloe that will look cute in here. It also in the bottom has the plug, the plastic plug right here. And that does come out. So 
if you're going to use this in your house, on your desk, on your counter, something on a table, you're going to want to leave that plug in so that if you water and it leaks out, you don't want it going through. But most of my stuff is outside, so I may take that plug out. That will just depend on where you're going to use it. It does have, these are little foam cushing dots, whatever you want to call them. So when you set it on your table, it's not going to scratch your table because it is a rock. It It's heavy too. It's fairly heavy. And I just thought it was cute as a bug's ear. And I've got, I've got hundreds of cactus and succulents. So I've got some little, like I said, I'll probably put in here some little zebra aloe that doesn't get very big because I think they would look cute with the green and white stripes coming up out of there. I haven't decided. I've got several different kinds I can put in here. I don't want anything very, they'll get very tall. I want something that, you know, will just fill in nicely. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to. I think it's cute. You could even, if you've got some in the littler pots that will fit in here, you can leave them in there or you can put the dirt in and plant it. Depends on, on what you want. But I would say if you're going to put the dirt in and plant it, just watch because if you overwater, it's going to, and you've got the plug in, it's going to be stuck in there and you have to worry about root rot then. So either way you go, I think it's cute. I wanted to show it to you. And I wanted everybody to know how big it actually is. I mean, it's just not huge. I I don't know what they were expecting, but it is small and it's cute. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna put plants in it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it because it looks different. And I don't have anything for my little bitty uh succulents they're all over the place all in pots but i don't have any way cute to display them because it's really hard sometimes to display something that's small and make it look cool now i can and so one of these shows keep watching i will be showing it to you with plants in it and then i'll just have to tell you about the plug in the bottom rather than being able to show you. So next up, we've got something fun. For all of you that are just tuning in, my name is Cheryl Locke. I hope you're having a great Christmas. Ready for the new year. 2022 is just around the corner. I don't know if you've got big plans. I think we're going to have a great year. And it's up to us to decide that. You want to have a great year? Set it in your head and you'll have a great year. I guarantee. Next up, I've got something for you that, like I said, is fun. Legendary asked me if I want to try out one of their 4x4 trucks. And I said, well, of course I do. I like to have fun. Just because I'm older doesn't mean I don't play trucks, especially when they're remote control and go 25 miles an hour that is right up my alley i will do that so it really is four wheel drive you can see the little shocks on there and each wheel yes not just one wheel not just two all four four wheel drive they all also are soft so they're not that hard plastic like they used to be. They're soft, so they're going to grip and be able to climb better. And it's got the plastic cover here. It's held on by four little clips. They do send replacement clips unless you, in case you lose one, you've got four extra. Because, yeah, those, those can be easily lost if you're not really careful. Now, this comes with two batteries, but you only need one to play. So that means while you're playing with it, the other battery can be charging. That makes it even better. So you don't have to waste time and stop and, and wait for a battery to charge. You can have one charging while you're still playing. So like I said, this is four-wheel drive. I'll show you 
Oops. Now that is one sixteenth. Their site has several different ones. This is the one they sent me. It also comes with the little fireproof bag to charge your batteries in, which I think is always smart, especially if you've got kids. Teach them to use it so that they think the battery only can be charged in here for a safety. A lot of things when you charge those batteries, if you're not careful, they can overheat, whether it's your phone, your tablet, anything. So I love that they have this little bag to help charge them. Here is one of the batteries. And when I got it brand new and had to charge it, it took right at one hour for each battery to charge. Also comes with the battery charger. Do, 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 do. And this will be flashing. And then once it's the battery is fully charged, it will go solid. And, you know, it's charged. All right. Like I said, it comes with two batteries. You only need one to run it. Has the little safety charging bag. Ta da And the remote. There you go. Now, this is not a remote I was used to. So, let me tell you, when I first fired this little truck up and took it out, I crashed it everywhere, all the time. <laughs> it. They say it goes 25 miles an hour, and this thing flies. And, of course... It does have a half speed, so you can turn this down to low so it doesn't go as fast even when the trigger is pulled all the way. That is not for me. I left it at full speed and just crashed it into stuff because that was the thing to do. <laughs> I had never used a remote like this with the steering here. I I just had a hard time getting the, the hang of pulling this and turning here. Finally, I got figured out and I quit running into things. Almost took my wiener dog right off his feet. Figured I better I better figure it out before I, I ran him over. Now, when you open yours, remember, you need three AA batteries, which you can get those here on Amazon too. But you don't want to get it and not have batteries for your remote because then it's really no fun if you don't have the remote. I mean, sitting there looking at it isn't that great want to play with it. So get those batteries. Remember that. And if you're giving it for a gift, make sure you've got those batteries for them. So let's turn this bad boy on and check it out. All right. Oh, it's even got headlights. Isn't it cute? I love it. Now we're going to turn on the remote. You always turn on the truck first, then the remote. Now, right there in the top center, you're going to see a red light when I first turn it on. That means the remote has power. When you see the blue lights come down the center, that means they are connected and paired. First time you fire this up, fire up your truck, you're going to turn on your remote near it. And it may take a minute or so for it to pair. And then you're good to go. So, let's fire her up. There's your red light. And we are paired. Now, it does have a... Uh, trim for your wheels if you need it. Also, when you first get it, take a little Phillips screwdriver and just reach in each of the wheels and make sure they're tight. Don't crank them, but just make sure the screws in there are good and snug. And then, let's see here. As you can see, we've got steering and four wheels. All four wheels. Yep. I didn't know how else to do it. I only got two hands, so I figured that'd work. So, there you go. Like I said, they, they say it goes 25 miles an hour. I don't have a way to check, but it flies. I have done donuts with it. I've had a little curbs. I've ran it into the neighbor's fence. I took it under cars. I ran it under a friend's rat rod. And I don't know what I hid under there, but part of his frame and had to back it out. 
I thought I was going to have Carl Ender's car to get it, but we finally got it to back out. <laughs> we have had a blast with it. So, looking for something fun. Here you go. And I think it's a great deal. Right now, it is on special. Don't know how long that's going to last. So, what I would say is go over, check it out. If it's something you want and you put it in your cart, make sure to go ahead and finish the transaction so that you don't miss the deal because if the deal ends and it's sitting in your cart you may not you're out so anytime you've got deals sitting in your cart make sure to watch and then be sure to finish that transaction before too long so this is my legendary sonic four-wheel drive pickup this is the first four-wheel drive a lifted truck i've ever owned Maybe the only one. And if I had one of these in real life, you know, like a big one, I couldn't afford to put the fuel in it. So this one, pretty easy. I can just charge batteries and keep driving. Hate to have to put some fuel in it, though. Oops. And I am bringing stuff over here. I got too much stuff today. Alrighty then. I hope you're all having a good Christmas. Let me see. Oh, there it is. I didn't know if I grabbed the next item. I thought, oh, shoot. Mike, thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you are having great holidays. Merry Christmas. Going to be a happy new year here in just one week can't believe it 2022 in fact on amazon prime last night i watched a movie and it had matthew mcconaughey in it and he looks so young and i'm like oh that must be a really old movie and i looked and it was from 2002 and i'm like that's 20 years ago holy smokes 20 years i remember 2022 like it was yesterday <laughs> <clears throat> also remember the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and parts of those I don't remember like yesterday but I, I remember them hello Reagan how are you I hope you're having a great Christmas we are here in it's still sunny out Las Vegas I thought we were going to get rain today, but we didn't. It didn't show up. I think it was earlier in the week, and they thought we might get it, but we didn't. They said, cloudy and rainy today, and I thought, ooh, But it's beautiful. Do you have snow? <laughs> Does anybody have snow? Did anybody get a white Christmas? So far, nobody in the chat has had a white Christmas. Hello, pudgy boys. Merry Christmas to you and yours, too. I hope you're having a great day. I hope Santa Claus found you. I'm sure you were on the good list. I'm not going to say whether I was on the good list, but... I care... Kieran? Kieran? Kieran, I bet. Yes. Oh, you have snow. See? Somebody got snow. And Pudgy Boy says, you keep your snow. I got 75 degrees in sunshine. I'm not 75. I think we are 60 some when I looked before I went live. But yeah, we got no snow. I can see it on the mountain though. If I go out and I look up over to Mount Charleston, I can see snow. But I'm not going up there to actually get close to it. That's crazy stuff. <laughs> ah I haven't had a white Christmas in years and I'm we had snow here where I'm at uh in 2008 we got like three inches and it melted in a few hours you had to run out and take pictures in fact I went out to take pictures in flip-flops because I didn't have any other shoes and when I came out my neighbor uh, had his patio and he was he was sweeping with a broom his 
patio and he was in shorts and a t-shirt grooming off the snow and i was out walking around taking pictures of the snow and flip-flops so down here in las vegas we are not really prepared for that stuff lady m thank you very much for the follow i greatly appreciate it hope you're having a great christmas and ready for 2022 it's uh it's coming up on us fast, and I know it's going to be good. It has to be, because I just said so. Karen says, minus four degrees. Oh, no, no, no. That, I don't know. Polar bears can't even survive that. <laughs> that is way too cold. You would find me. At minus four degrees, and I grew up in the Midwest, so I, I did that when I was a kid. I left there and never looked back, especially not at winter. But you would find me cuddled up with the biggest blanket I could find, any dogs or cats in the house and next to the fireplace, or standing over the uh, heater vent. You know, the heater vents in the floor, I remember as a kid having your nightgown on and standing over it so the heat blew up and you could warm up. Yeah, I'm not used to cold anymore. I've lived in Florida and now down here in Las Vegas. Uh, we worked in Montana for a while and left there at two degrees and headed for Vegas. I was like, yeah, I'm frozen. Never going back there. I haven't been back. Montana is beautiful, though just cold <laughs> and let me see here i see everybody coming on in be sure to say hi let us know how you're doing were you on the good list this year i was told i was on the good list but i don't know saying i didn't stop i guess he's afraid of my dog Or he just, he got busy and forgot and figured, what the heck? Cheryl doesn't need anything. We'll catch her later. I'm waiting on Santa Amazon. Amazon Santa, whichever way you want to say it. He should, I thought he was going to be here yesterday, but he might be here tomorrow. I'm going to have a couple of drones to show you. So be sure to click the follow because, yeah. Uh, as soon as they get here, we'll do an unboxing show and I'll show them to you. And then I'll have to set them up, take them out and test them. Now, I won't be able to test them if we have big wind, but I'll take them out and get some testing done with them. See how they fly. See how they do video. They both have cameras. One has a 4K camera. The other one has a 1080p. I'm excited. They aren't here yet but they're on their way so if you're not following you might miss them and as right now i have which way is it go there you go creative xp night vision binoculars they say they're binoculars i call them a monoocular i don't even know if that's a word but there you go they're by glass out these were sent to me to test out i'll read this uh let me see 850 NM 3W infrared illuminator allows clear viewing in the dark up to 1300 feet. There are some things in the dark I don't want to see. Come the zombie apocalypse, they are not sneaking up on me in the middle of the night because I will see them. Uh, you can record photos JPEG at 640. Videos are 640, 480 at 30 frames per second and sound. Large four inch display screen for outstanding color and comfortable viewing. All weather resistant, rugged framework, rubber armory, anti slip concept. Quick, quickly zoom up to seven times magnification 
in the complete darkness. Zombies, watch out. I'll be ready for you. Easily transfer images and videos to your computer or phone. All right. I wanted to read all of their little things they put on there because I don't ever remember all that. Larry says, do zombies show up on... Ooh. Oh, no. Do zombies show up on infrared? Only living creatures show up. Daggone. But you know what, though? Still, you would be able, you would, no, you could see them because when I use them, I can see trees and I can see, you know, uh, hills and bushes and stuff. <coughs> they, it's not heat sensing, it's infrared. So it's going to just, it's a little bit different because I've got infrared security cameras around and I can, I can see at night, even anything sitting out. So the. You had me scared there for a minute, Larry. I thought, oh, great. I get these for the zombie apocalypse, and now I won't be able to use them. <laughs> Don't be messing with me, son. <laughs> you scared me. And I'm also not far from Area 51. You never know, little aliens come in. I know, most people use these for hunting and things like that. I, however, am prepared for the zombie apocalypse because I know Las Vegas is where it's all going to start. Either Las Vegas or Florida, one or the other. <laughs> uh, in my personal life, just going out at night, like I said, out in the desert, you can see the coyotes, the regular rabbits, the jack rabbits. We've got bighorn sheep. A lot of hunters use these. I personally don't need them for hunting down here, but I know a lot of hunters that do use them. In fact, I have friends and they go up hunting all the time up, up north a little ways. But down here, it's wildlife. I watch it. I'm not going to shoot it. I'm just watching it. But yeah, I've got friends and they go hunting all the time. In fact, they go up north here in uh, Nevada. They also go up to Utah and Idaho and go hunting. And these are amazing for that. And they do. When I first got them, I'm like, that is not a bit right. I don't get that. Because <laughs> that's why I say it's a mon more like a monocular because you're going to look through here. Let me power this up and I'll see if I can get it to show you the startup screen. Yeah, see, it's got the startup screen and you can set it to take video with just a click. You can take pictures when you first get it. And I found a video on YouTube that helped me <coughs> set it up. It's got instructions, but I could follow the YouTube video better to set it up, to put your date, your uh, things like that, whether you want it to automatically shut off after a certain length of time, all of that you can do right in here. And the instructions that come with it, I just have a hard time reading them because the print was small and I was trying to eyeball them. So I watched a YouTube video, but you've got it right here. They actually work really good. And I was kind of surprised because I thought, Really, for that price, are they going to work? They do. And I haven't seen any zombies, but like I said, if that ever happens, I'm ready. You also have your Zoom here. Or not your Zoom, your uh, focus. Focus, focus. You've got your Zoom on top. Let me see here. Because I'm backwards with it when I look in the camera. I'm trying. This is your infrared one. I believe this is your snap. This is your mode. And this is your zoom. When I'm looking in the camera backwards, I'm like, which way do I go? So that's all right there at one touch. It does take eight. Are they triple A or double A? Double A batteries. And you'll need those. It has over here. 
me get this open. It's got your little tiny SD card in here. I'll pull that out so you can see it. And I don't want to drop it. There you go. It comes with this. That way you can have your videos in your pictures. And like I said, it's not like a 4K video, but it's a nice little video you can check out, show your friends, things like that. It's not going to be like movie quality. You know, that gets in to some real money. Also down here, you can attach this to a tripod because these are fairly heavy. And when I'm out and I was holding them for very long, then I'm like, okay, I, you need a tripod if you're going to hold them for very long. If you're not, yeah, my wrists weren't holding these very long. But a tripod would make it a lot better. I mean, if you're you're used to holding things up, you're going to be fine. Or if you're only looking for a minute. But if you're going to set them up where you're going to watch an area throughout some time, you're going to want a tripod. I'll guarantee you. At least I do. I Yeah, I couldn't hold them very long up and hold them steady. So I wanted to get, put these out here. Yes, right, Larry, that's me. I'm like, they call them a binocular, but I think they're a mon, monocular. And that's a word I didn't know if it was even a real word, but it was one that fit. So, and I'm going to be taking them out and making some video on them and uploading over probably on my uh shopping with cheryl youtube channel when i get it done so and do a demo so i can show it to you because it's really hard i can't exactly take you out at night well i could but it wouldn't work very well so you can kind of see what they do i know it's not for everybody but i like them and it's not something I use all the time. Hunters would use it all the time. I go camping. I go camping and I'm going to have a blast with them. So this time of year, I haven't got a whole lot of chance to use them. I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> if, and I, I mean, I got a lot of light here, but if you live somewhere out where there's not as much light, especially farmers, things like that, they could come in very handy so you could kind of check on things without when it's at night because i grew up in farm country and you have all kinds of crazy stuff happen at night and not zombies uh freddie is watching the buddha on amazon video and larry says monocular is indeed a real word thank you because <laughs> i was like i don't know i didn't know if it was a real word but i knew that that was the one that would fit <laughs> and then anytime i say it then i don't think to go and look it up later so but i knew i knew binocular wasn't right i had that much down And since I'm on the camping theme, I got a cool little thing. I bought it here a while back. And honestly, I wasn't sure how big it was. But, oh, can I get my, there it goes. When I bought it, I thought, is that what I bought? <laughs> it is. This is the iClimb, iClimb table, portable table. So, it's for if you hike and things like that and you, you're going to need to take a little table. No, it is not very high. It's not like a table you sit at. But sit on the ground. You can use it for that. If you, whatever you need a table for, it's super lightweight. In fact, let's see if I can do this because it's oddly shaped for me to. There's the two finger test. Look at that. Kind of odd shape, but. I can do it. Yeah. 
that's our new thing. The two finger test, if I think it's lightweight, we'll see how light it is. And it is metal and it comes in. This bag is really, really nice. It's a thick canvas. So it's not some lightweight little nylon thing. It's a thick canvas and it's got the drawstrings. And I have this together right now. Let me tell you, the first time I put it together, it took me a couple minutes to figure out how to do it because each of these is a separate piece and then you have to put them on here. And like I said, it just took me a couple minutes to figure out the best way to do it by myself. And I found out if I set the two end pieces down onto this and then hooked on the top and then put in the center piece, I was good to go. I was trying to do it the wrong way and it confused me. So there you go. You know someone that likes to, to camp or hike and they need a lightweight table. This is, and these three pieces break down. Let me just pop this out and I'll show you how easy it is to take apart as I say that. Okay. Cause I just undid this little piece back here. And then as I already know it's going to start falling to pieces when I do this. All right. Take off this back set of legs. And then you've got the three pieces back here all connected. I'm going to pop this down. Well, can I pop that one out first? Nope, I got to pop it down. Raise it up. I don't know why I can't do this. Oh, there you go. When I try to do it holding it, it doesn't work as well. And we got it. It works better when you're not trying to hold it on your lap and show a camera. So, as you can see, they each come down. Put it all together nicely. Da, 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 da. And that's, yeah, I learned if I just set it like this and put my two end pieces on first, that's the easiest way to do it. And then put the center piece in. And it all goes into, as I say that, the little bag. There again, if I wasn't trying to hold it. Camera level, I'd probably already have it done. Why is it not going in? Is because I'm trying to be smart and show it to you. Isn't it? I knew it. What did I... Why... I got caught on the... Never do it while looking at a camera and trying to show someone how to do it. It doesn't work then. Let me get it. It's getting caught on something in this bag. This is why I like showing things on live. Because it, it never works the way you plan for it to. What is in there? Oh. The bag has a little, it's got a little pocket, as you can see. And I was trying to put it in the pocket. No wonder it wasn't working. Let me see if I can do it the other way and get it to go in. It's still getting caught on that little pocket. And I don't know why. Why? Wants to make me look like a fool. I have no patience. It all went in the first time it came out of the bag. I guess putting one piece in at a time works better than trying to shove it all in at once. Learn from my mistakes, people. Never try to do something on live video. It just doesn't work. And there you go. If you ever want to be a live streamer, understand that things are never going to go right. We've got the whole table in the bag. Finally, 
It's not the bag. It's not the table. It's me. There you, oh, there you go. I climb, you climb, you got a table. There you go. And I think it does come in different colors. This is kind of a rose colored because I thought it was pretty. Live. We are live. Otherwise, I would have edited out all of that mess. <clears throat> if you're just joining us, my name is Cheryl Locke. And I figured I'd come spend some time on Christmas with you in case you mm, try and get away from the family. Maybe you're uh, getting off work because a lot of people are working today. Maybe you just wanted to tune in because you got nothing else to do. That's why I'm here. I don't want you shopping alone. Nobody should ever shop by themselves. All right. What do I have next? It's a crazy day. I have been on for two hours. That's why it's getting crazier. I knew something was up. <laughs> two hours. Something's got to go crazy. All right. Let me see here. I am trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm using uh, StreamYard, and I've got a new YouTube channel, Shopping with Cheryl, that I just, I've been setting it up and getting videos ready, but I haven't launched it, so I thought today, I thought, I'm going to go ahead and live stream to Amazon and to YouTube, just so my new channel has a video on it. And I'm still trying to figure out StreamYard so that I can watch the YouTube channel in here. Well, Merry Christmas, Dana. Great to have you here. Hope you are having a good Christmas. Hope Santa Claus found you and brought you some cool stuff. Because I know you were on the good list. I think. If you weren't on the good list, you can try again next year. I keep trying every year. I do try really hard, but it's hard to be on the good list. <laughs> this is our next item. I have a 12 by 36 gun cleaning mat. Yes, yes, yes. They sent this to me to try out and I said, sure, I will try it out. Send it to me. Yeah, Dana, you're laughing. I know. Either you're laughing because you, you find it easy to be on the good list or you're laughing because you know getting on that good list is not easy. And you know it probably just isn't going to happen for you. All right, let me set this over here. Like I said, we've got all kinds of cool stuff. I've got more stuff coming maybe tomorrow. I'm going to have some drones to unbox for you. If not tomorrow, as soon as they get here. I, I don't know what all I have. I've got all kinds of stuff coming. <laughs> I can't keep up, but we'll just keep doing shows. I've got pet stuff. I've got electronics. I've got remote control trucks. I'm going to have drones. I've got speakers. You name it. We have some on a show. And right now we have a gun cleaning mat with the magnetic tray. I got the one, they sent me the one with the magnetic tray, which is awesome because this is great. When you've got all those strings, all those little screws, all those pieces and parts, and they never fails, something ends up on the floor and you're down there searching. Put them in here. If they're metal, they won't go out. Even if they're not metal, there's a good chance that they're not going to roll onto the floor. And it is heavy. So it's not like just a lightweight little tray these are heavy so it's going to keep it in place and not just flop around and we'll do a there you go yep it's a magnet i told you it was i don't have anything heavy to put in there uh but it's going to keep track of your screws and your springs and things like that now, the mat itself is 12 inches by 36 inches. Now, I'll start off by showing you this stitching. Because if you've ever had any of these mats, 
the stitching, if it's not good, these mats start fraying like crazy. And then your mat is pretty much ruined. It just doesn't, it, not good. This is stitched super tight, which is really good. And it will keep that fraying down. Now, the back side that is going to be on your table is a nice rubber. And so, it is not going to slide all over your table while you're working on your project. Yes, I have to watch what I say on Amazon Live. So, you know what I'm talking about. But, I won't say it. So, this is a rubber. It is padded. So, when you set your item down on this, it's got enough cushion that it's not going to be denting your table. And of course, it's not going to scratch your table, which is important. It also doesn't set the item or scratch the item you're working on. And it's like a, just a foam. Now on the mat itself, it is water resistant because when I've spilled, it balls up. <coughs> Here you go. And it's got nice graphics on it. I just can't say those words. And it's great for what it's made for. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just, I have to watch what I say. So, 12 by 36 inch, nice stitching, well made, water resistant, liquid resistant. If you get oil, anything, you can just wipe it. It also stays on your table, cushion, so you don't scratch your table, scratch your item. And I got the one with the magnetic tray so that it holds my springs my screws any little pieces i can put in here even if i'm working on something else i can use this tray to hold the little bitty pieces in there you go well hello penny thank you for the follow i greatly appreciate it i hope you're having a good christmas we're out here in las vegas i think it's 60 some degrees like 64 now we were going to have rain, but it never showed up, and I'm just as happy. I hope Santa Claus found you. If he didn't, well, there's always next year. You can try for that good list. I keep trying. Monday, I'm going to get it. I'm not sure when. I obviously haven't figured it out yet. Oh, it's 63 there, Dana. See, we've only had one person in the comments that has had a white Christmas, and it was minus four degrees, which is way cold. Snow and minus four. That's crazy. I understand the whole white Christmas thing. I don't understand minus four. There is no way to do that. I would say that's like polar bear weather. And the polar bears don't even want to live there. If I was a polar bear, I'd be heading for somewhere warmer. <laughs> and yes, it's getting a little crazy here. We are two hours and eight minutes and 37 seconds into this live stream. And we haven't even got through it yet. Because we've been having a good time chit-chatting. Isn't that what we're supposed to do here on Christmas? Next up, uh, it's, it's too hot there, Dana. Well, I wouldn't say it's... I live in the desert, though. What do I know about being too hot? <laughs> I, uh, it's just crazy. Every year, even growing, and I've lived all over the U.S. Uh, military, we got stationed different places around the U.S. And it would be crazy when people would say, oh, it's going to be this weather. And then it was either really cold or really hot. You never know. Every year is different. And every few years, something crazy happens. Well... Hello, I'm I'm trying to figure out what this name is. T S A N nineteen ninety. I think that's what it says. It's tiny on my phone. I can't read. 
Hope you are having a great Christmas. Hope you are ready for the new year. Anybody here got big plans for 2022? You know, like something amazing. Anything can be amazing, though. And Dana says it should be 26 here at this time of year. Yeah, well, thank your lucky stars. It's not because that's cold. That's too cold. We're having our same weather. It's about right for this time of year for Vegas. And I know Southern Illinois today was pretty warm. Uh, my friends back there were having a nice Christmas. And they were loving it because usually it's so cold. It's miserable to get out, you know, and go and travel. So they were kind of glad there's they could go visit family and friends and no ice, no snow all of that. So they were enjoying it today. I I enjoy that too. Next up, I have my gear light flashlights. These were sent to me by gear light. They come in a packet too. They do have the handy little holsters for them. They can be put on your belt. I've got one set, one with a battery and one without, so I hope I got the right one. Let's see here. And ready? The big reveal. There you go. These are actually pretty heavy. These are metal. These are not the cheapo plastic that you get at some places. They're actually pretty heavy duty. And the lens is kind of a fish eye. You can also zoom it in and more pinpoint it or have broader so that if you need a bigger light or if you want to pinpoint it, you can do it right there by turning this. Also, it's going to take your batteries back here, three triple A's. Let me, I think I got the one with the, yep, I got the battery one. Your three triple A batteries go right in there. Let me see. Do, do, do. And, like I said, they're heavy duty. You, Somebody said you could run over them with a truck. I don't know. I'm not going to run over mine with a truck. Just not going to do it. It could happen, though. And there you go. Like I said, you can also pinpoint it by turning this. And you have... Oh, You have an SOS in case you need that. You know, like when you're trying to trying to let your friend know the zombies are coming. Let me see here. And an emergency flasher. I'm pretty sure this would mess with the zombies. They wouldn't be able to see anything. They'd think it was disco night. Break out in a dance. It's getting a little crazy. It is Christmas. <laughs> and we are talking zombies. Ever since I got those night vision binoculars, monoculars as we discussed, we're watching for zombies and prepping. I'm prepping for zombies. And here you go. My gear light. Like I said, comes in a pack of two. Has the nice little holster that will go on your belt loop. They are super bright. In fact, when the power went out the other night, we had massive wind and rain and everything. <clears throat> These are one of the things I was like, okay, where did I put my flashlights? Because I actually need them right now. And I went and got them out. I love that you can put them on a holster in case you don't want to carry a flashlight in your hand. But you can put it on your belt loop and that way you have it when you need it. So... They're great for camping, great for power outages, as I found out the other night. And here in Las Vegas, I have power outages all the time because I think the wires just get dry and I'm out of ways. So there you go. A great little set of flashlight. There's two of them in the box. LED tactical flashlights. Special. 
And let me see here. We'll check the comments. Uh, oh, Dana says that being 26 degrees and being colder keeps the cray. Yeah, it keeps the cray cray away. Keeps me away. You know what? I've said to people, you know, they're like, oh, come visit. I'm like, uh, uh not when it's cold. I ain't going there. Yeah. Kind of like here when it gets super duper hot, either the crazy comes out or the crazy stays in where the AC is and doesn't go out. Uh, oh, you've got one that's got a built-in UV light. Ah, see? There's so many things on here. A lot of this stuff I didn't even know existed until I started doing the Amazon Lives and stuff. And I'm like, there's some crazy stuff out here that we could have been using for years and I just didn't know it. Let me see here. Boy, my finger's not lighting up. We have a house full of people in right now as far as Amazon goes. I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas. I hope you're ready for 2022 because we ain't got no choice. It is coming fast. We are on countdown. How many think it's going to be a great year? Raise your hand. Go ahead. I say yes. I am done with all the, the nuts stuff. I am ready to go back to normal. Get out. Do something fun. I have been trapped in the house too long and I am over it. Next up. We have the Keeper Gun Magnet. Let me tell you, this little magnet is heavy duty. Not very big. Holds up to 35 pounds. I've tested it with a variety of things. Uh, I have a video on the page where I tested it with a metal jack stand. Now, you can use this to put your item under your desk, in a cabinet, wherever you think it should be, possibly in a car. If it you are looking at mountain in a car, you're going to want to make sure that you check with your local laws. You also want to make sure there's nothing in the chamber because that's a safety issue. Okay. It comes with four screws, and yes, they're, they're not supposed to be there. They'll go in these little holes to be attached, but they jumped on the magnet. Then I thought, oh, I'll leave them there. I may never get them off. Let me see if I can. <laughs> They're really on there. All right. Now, this is actually kind of a rubbery feeling. So that when you put an item on there, it is not going to scratch it. It's not like a, a sharp metal. And it's a little bit textured. Now, really, this isn't very big, but they say 35 pounds. The back is nice and smooth. And like I said, I picked up a metal jack stamp and was shaking it with this magnet. It is, it's a nice magnet. And depending on what you want to use it for, you can use it for anything that will attach to the magnet. I mean, I don't care. Whatever you have that you want to hang up, you can. You just may not get it back off. Know somebody that would like this? It is on special. If you have things in your cart that are on special, make sure you don't wait too long. Because if by chance the special ends and you have not finished that checkout process, you miss the special. And I have no idea of how long specials are going to last. So you can't. You know, I can't say, oh, it's going to last this long or that long unless it's actually got a, a countdown timer on it. So, don't leave stuff sitting in your cart too long. I've been there, done that. Let's see. Alexa says, it's been two hours, 30 minutes. Are you not tired? I'm always tired. Let me tell you. I just keep going. I will, in fact, on Black Friday, I did a four-hour stream, a three-hour stream, and then my last stream, 
I only did a little over two hour, barely two hours, because my voice went. I'll get a little stir crazy here in a little bit, but we only have a little bit more to go. And I mean, I've got all of you guys in here. I don't know if there's any live other live streamers on. I don't want to leave everybody sitting shopping alone. That's no fun. And I got nothing else to do today. So I want to be here with you. I'm going to miss y'all Christmas Eve night. I am going to go do some things with some friends. I do that once in a while. I leave my house. Well, thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Every follow makes me feel good. Makes Amazon think I'm special. And we won't tell them any different. Uh, Larry says... I see Amazon offers UFO detectors and ghost detectors, but no zombie detectors. Hmm. What? No zombie detectors? I'm telling you, I'm going to be on zombie watch. This is this is going to be a new theme. I'm going to have to do a, a, a zombie, zombie preparedness show. I don't have a lot of items to be prepared for zombies, but sounds like fun. <coughs> and I do, you know, I'm out here, Area 51, just saying. We do have the Nellis Air Force Base. And so sometimes, especially people that don't live here, they'll come out and they'll be like, I saw this thing flying in the... Nellis uh, has the big, the drones, you know, like military drones, and sometimes they'll fly over and they kind of freak you out if you don't know what they are because of how fast they move and how they hover and everything. So that's kind of crazy. And then, yes, being near Area 51. And then we have the Strip, which I'm pretty sure has aliens and zombies. I've seen people down there. I know there's zombies. I also think some of them are aliens. And Mia, thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Alex, uh, <laughs> my friends want to follow you only if you end stream. I can't end the stream yet. I haven't, I haven't talked about all my products. So... Crafty Lady 26, thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Happy holidays to you. She's yeah, Crafty Lady 26. I hope you are having an amazing Christmas. We're gonna have New Year's. I don't care what holiday anybody celebrates, what even what day it is. I know some people maybe couldn't get together with family on on the holiday. As long as you get to Spend some time with family. That's the day that's special. And New Year's. Do y'all do big New Year's parties? I'm in Las Vegas. We have a big, they have a big New Year's downtown on the Strip. I do not go there. <laughs> but they do have one. <clears throat> I used to have a friend that would go to New York. And her big thing was if she went for the Macy's Day Parade or she went for New Year's. That sounds crazy to me. For one, it's really cold there. For another, it just sounds like it's crazy so many people. Uh, oh, it's, you think I, I shouldn't be online because it's Christmas? Oh, no. That's what I got to do. <laughs> I, was a, I was a bartender for 15 years. I worked every holiday. You know what? I already know there's some people that maybe they didn't get to go see family today or they couldn't because whether they were sick, the kids had the flu or couldn't travel. Maybe they just didn't have anything going on. So I might as well be here so that they have somebody to say hi to, somebody to wish them a Merry Christmas. That's what I do. I could be sitting and watching TV, but I'd rather be here with you guys, just in case. Nobody should be alone on Christmas, so you can be here with us. Uh, 
<laughs> well, you know what? I think he understands. I'll guarantee. Yeah, it's okay. Because I could sit here and watch TV, but I'm going to be here with y'all. Next up, I had Sparker, which my box got wet. Yours, when you order one, will not look like this. My, I spilled blood. <laughs> yeah, I got it wet. And it got a little warped, but there it is. Yours won't look like that unless you, too, drop it in water. And then it will. And you know what? You're right, Mia. Uh, COVID put a damper. I've got a friend, in fact, her, uh, she's homesick with COVID. And so, I mean, she'll be fine, but she couldn't get around family. So they had to cancel all of their gatherings. Another friend, they're getting over some kind of just general yuck. So they didn't want to be around family. So they're at home. And that's how it is. I don't let it ruin anything. The past two years has not ruined things for me. Uh, my original business that I had before this kind of went in the trash because of small businesses that I worked with. A lot of them were, were shut down or put out so much that they could no longer afford my services. But you know what? Then I just kind of started switching things up and now I'm here with you all. So I'm going to take it. It doesn't ruin things. It just makes it different. And like I said, if you can't get together with family today because of travel restrictions or whatever, you can maybe do a Zoom call, a FaceTime. If nothing like that, plan it for another day. Christmas can be any day as long as you get together with your family, your friends, and you're having a good time. Doesn't that calendar date don't mean nothing. It's all good. Somebody somewhere wants to see you. So you got to keep that in mind. If you can't see them today, it's okay. Uh, did Amazon offer double bonus? I, I don't know what that means. Oh, can I light this? Oh, yes, Dana, I will. I'm off on my spree about... Christmas. We want everybody to have a good Christmas. We want everybody to uh, know somebody out there cares about them. Here you go. USB spark or lighter. Look at this. Yes, it's a plasma lighter. So the wind, I was out the other night and it was blowing like crazy. I'm like, I got to take my lighter out and see if it, you know, because you go camping and you always do this so so you can get that lighter to light that stick or that paper. No, not anymore. Now, I went, the other day, I had this out and I lit a stick in here. Before I got out, I've got smoke and I'm like, <laughs> so I decided I shouldn't do that. Shouldn't be burning things in the house because wouldn't you know, my smoke detector will go off. And trust me, my smoke detectors, I, I use them a lot because I cook. And when I cook, my smoke detectors know it. So here you go. This is good for wind and rain. They've made some improvements to it because now this seals better. And this right here is for the flashlight. You have a flashlight down here. It's also USB charged like I was showing you. It comes with the USB and you plug it in. Now the thing is for the flashlight, it used to be that if you carried it in your pocket and it bumped the button, the flashlight would come on, the battery would be dead, and then it wouldn't work. So they made some improvements. And now you hit the button three quick times to get the flashlight to come on. That means it's chances of you getting three quick clicks like that, bumps on it in your pocket is pretty slim. So that's going to save your battery. And like I said, you don't have to worry about filling it up, anything like that. And you don't have to worry about that flame blowing out in the wind. I just love that. 
Can you hear it? Yeah, I have to. Uh, I like fire. I shouldn't play with it, but I, I like it. The firemen are just glad I don't play with it. Uh, yes, Mia. Always positive. Love it every day as a gift. That's right. You know what? Got to stay positive. It's been a, it has been a rough couple of years, but you know what? We're all getting through it. And you can't let, you got to just pull up your big girl panties and keep going. Because somebody out there needs you. Even on those days where you think, oh, it's terrible. Somebody needs you. So, there you go. Like I said, your box will look nicer than mine because it won't have been wet. <laughs> <sighs> when I did that, I'm like, daggone, I wanted to keep it nice. I try to keep everything in my in the boxes so you can see how they look and so they keep stay nice and everything. <laughs> so even when I get out my headphones and all that to use them or my lighter, then I put it back in the box so that I keep it all nice. And then I go and do this. If I hold it really there, you can barely tell. Got a camper. There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Take it camping. Take it hunting. Anywhere where there's wind. You live in Casper, Wyoming. You know about wind. You might be able to use that. I don't know, though, because that gets crazy there. Uh, yeah, I like that lighter. I do. I do. Like I said, I took it out the other night. It was super windy out. And I'm like, oh, this isn't going to work. I love when I get proved wrong. Sometimes I get that. I'm very cynical about things. You know, when they make the claims. And I will go out and I will try to prove them wrong. Happily, it worked. Like it said it would. But I tried. Oh, no. Yes, a lighter and a taser. I wish. I don't have a taser. I, I've never had a taser, but yeah, it makes that, that would be cool. A lighter that also has a taser. I'm sure they have them. <laughs> that could be fun. Or... A lighter like that that also shoots a Spidey Man web. We could do that too. I'm on the zombie thing. I know we got to get prepared, boys and girls. Zombies are coming. It's 2022. We should have had them here by now. I thought we were going to have flying cars and zombies by now. All right. And Dana wants it now. Ah, see how you are? You got to click that button, girlfriend. Click that button. Next up, I don't even know where I'm at anymore. It's been two hours, 33 minutes. We've been on live here. Well, yeah. Some of y'all are just joining us. Merry Christmas. Didn't want anybody shopping alone today, so I am sitting here with you for a bit. And yeah, two hours, 33 minutes. After I get done with this stream, I will probably take a break. You know, those potty breaks. Uh, get something to eat, and I might come back on. I think at Christmas time, if you can't make it out with family and friends what, for whatever reason, you can come say hi and uh, not sit home alone. I'm not sitting at home alone. I got you here. See, that's why I'm here is because I don't want to sit by myself. So I come to see you. Uh, four items left. I know. And these are cool. Super cool. Treb Lab sent me four items and i kind of excited i have been playing with these i've had them for about a week something like that i love them <laughs> absolutely love them oh it's been about a week and a half because last week i i went to a friend's house and had them all right uh let me see here the first one's f 
X100. I can't hardly tell which one's which in the thing, so I gotta figure this out. Now here, I've kept them in the box. They're amazing. Well, thank you very much, Mims, for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you are having a great holiday, whether you're celebrating Christmas, getting ready for New Year's, just staying at home, relaxing, because you might have had the day off. I know a lot of people had today off, but there's still a lot of people working, whether it's restaurants, some uh, like the casinos are open here, a lot of restaurants, shows, everything. So if you do happen to go out and you're seeing any of those people that are working today, be sure to give them a big smile, tip your waitresses, everything like that, because they are out there working for you today. And that. You know, they may have put off seeing family and stuff because they had to work. So, be nice. Uh, well, happy holidays to you too, Mims. It's, we're going to have a good year. We're cut, we're finishing the year off good. I am anyway. I have, re I'm refusing to let anybody ruin my year. So, let's take a look at these. All right, are you ready? These are amazing. I don't think they'll help me much in the zombie apocalypse, but that's okay. They come in a really nice box. Now, this is the Treblab FX100. Uh, Oh, you don't want me to sing, honey. Absolutely, you do not want me to sing. If I sing, it would probably crack your your computer screens. Your speakers would just spontaneously combust in a an attempt to stop the noise. <laughs> your dogs would howl. Cats in the neighborhood would scream the whole bit. All right. These speakers, what do I love about them? For one, they have rubber right here. This is all rubber, so they're kind of protected. You've got sound, pretty much 360 here. You do have a, where is it? The flat side, so when you set it on a table, it's going to stay and not roll. It also comes with a little carabiner, so you can hook it on in case you want to hook it to your backpack or put it basically anywhere. Now, this speaker has something some of the other ones don't, and that is it's also a battery power pack. So when this is charged, if you need to, say, charge your phone for a little bit, you can plug it in and charge your phone from this. So if this has got plenty of power, you can also charge from it. You've got the USB and then the small one, this, let me see, the little lights over here will indicate how much charge you have, so you know. Now, let me see here. We will, now, here's the thing. This, you can also talk on your phone. So, once they're connected, if I have this on and I get a phone call, I can tap it and answer my phone. And talk to it. Because I took my phone the other night. We were testing them. I took my phone and put it in a box. And took it in the other room. And was still able to talk. So yes, it does have a mic. I wanted to double check. Because like I told you, I can be pretty cynical. I wanted to make sure they were hearing me through this. And not my phone. That I love. Now, if I power them up. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Yes, power on, Bluetooth. Connected. She just keeps talking. They've got great sound. You can't control, it doesn't have the app where you can control like bass and treble and all those, like some of your way more expensive speakers. But for a speaker this price, they are amazing. They are made well because they've got the protection around them with the rubber. I love that I can 
skip ahead on my music. I can pause and talk on the phone. That's something that I have some other portable speakers I can't do. Now, I took this in the car with me other, the other day and used it. And I had uh, Google Maps up because I needed directions because I, I was going up in North Vegas. I didn't know where I was going. And I was playing music from my phone. And when the Google Maps lady started to speak, it came, clicked that music off, brought up her voice really well. I have another set of speakers that are great speakers, but for some reason, the Google Maps lady, I can never hear her come through the speakers. These I did, so I don't know quite what the difference is, but I thought it was cool. And like I said, power off. She's so nice. She loves me. So these are awesome speakers. Take a look at them. Uh, let me see here. They're Bluetooth. I think it's, does this box say, oh, maybe it'll see up to 35 hours playtime. I couldn't remember exactly how many hours this one had. Up to 35 hours. <coughs> Water resistant. Don't go throwing them in your toilet. Don't drop them in your toilet. Don't. Put them in your fish pond for the fish. But if it rains, they're water resistant. Built-in mic uh, for calls. That I tested because I didn't believe it. 10 watts of power. Passive subwoofer. Power bank 7000 mAh. There you go. And that's just one of the Treb Lab speakers. I've got two today. I also have a headset and earbuds. <laughs> I love the earbuds. For when I I don't want music out and about. I just want to listen to my music. When I edit a lot of video and pictures, I tend to, I used to, before I had my nerve disorder, listen to a lot of ear, with to music with my earbuds when I was doing video and uh, image editing. Well, then when I had the disorder, I couldn't do that for years. So I had brain surgery July 1st, and I finally been able to use earbuds again, and I am loving these. They're comfortable, and I can talk on my phone with them. So these are the Treble Labs F100, FX100. Let me see. Let's look here in the comments. Uh, yes, positive people only. I agree, Mia. We, we don't need no negativity. Ain't got room for that. <laughs> Everybody's got enough of their own problems. They don't need nobody else. Uh, oh, yes. The Treb Labs little speaker. Always sounds so nice. Power on. Bluetooth connected. I'm like. She's so sweet. And then she tells me, power off. And when I use my uh, earbuds, I can hear her. I'm like, oh, she, that's so nice. She's, there's voices in my head. Uh, Rob, hi. Hope you are having a good Christmas. Hope you're ready for 2022. It is coming up soon. Anybody got any kind of uh, resolution that you're actually going to follow through with? If you're not going to follow through with it, don't put it in the chat. But if you're going to follow through with it, let us know. Oh, you're not ready for 2022? Well, I tell you what, you're going to have to get ready because it's not going to wait. And all it is is just some numbers. It's okay. I don't know of anything big happening in 2022. Lots of times there's been movies with different years and I always watch for those, but I don't remember 2022. But I know some of y'all probably have some resolutions that you're actually going to stick to this time. You know that one, I'm going to exercise and I'm going to lose weight this year. That's every year I say that. I'm not even saying it this year. 
I may lose weight. That I gotta I gotta watch that. But exercising, we'll see. My idea of exercising is going to a car show and running around car shows, which I will be out doing. I think New Year's Day, I'm going to go to a car meet. And where did I put my other little, oh, my earbuds. Another one, Treb Lab sent me. Love, 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 love these. The speakers are great. I like the speakers when I'm outside, you know, doing yard work or whatever. They're great out there. Like I said, I used them in my car the other day to kind of test out. These earbuds, I like in the house. Because it's not like everybody always wants to listen to everything. I also love that I can use them with my phone. So, if I don't want everybody hearing the conversation or whatever, I can put in my earbuds and go outside, can wander around in here, whatever. And I'm the only one that can hear the other person talking. <coughs> so if I'm outside, the neighbors aren't hearing me, hearing the conversation. They're only hearing my side. And that probably confuses them. So these are the Premium Wireless Earbuds X3 Pro. Let's see what they have. Wait. All of a sudden kind of got dark. I don't know. Dynamic sound. A long-lasting battery. 40 hours on full volume. 40 hours on full volume. The, 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 the volume. <laughs> Can you tell? My, half my tongue and part of my face is going numb. Four hours, 46 minutes, and 57 seconds we've been on live. That's probably why my tongue is numb and part of my face. It does good for a while. Let's see, water resistant and sweat proof, ergonomic ear hooks, quick USB C charging. Let's look at them. I love the little box too. It looks nice. And if you're just tuning in, thank you very much. Be sure to hit that follow button. I greatly appreciate it. You'll know when I go live. I've got some cool new stuff coming. Uh, probably. In a day or two. Depends on when Amazon Santa gets here. I've got some drones coming. These come with stickers. With instruction booklets. And look at that. They also have a little piece of foam. That was on here when I originally got them. They're in a little. This thing fits in there snug. They are not moving. Like I said. They fit in here snugly. Now, these, let me see if I can, there it is. Where'd it go? There it is. These, you plug in, they have the USB cord in there. You plug them in and charge this box. I love that too. You charge the box. And there they are. See when I open it, there's blue. There they are. And I'm going to take this out and see if I can show it to you. They've got a couple of little pins right here that fit into your earbuds right there and it charges. So you just, all you got to do is put them in and they're going to charge. Easy, as long as your box is charged. All right. Now, like I said, not all earbuds are comfortable. These are. I was kind of shocked by them. There is the little pins that go in to charge them right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. This is going to be your on and off. This is also how I can answer a phone. And they've got the volume up and down back here. Right here. And that's on both of them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. They, they paired up pretty easily, too. And like I said, thank you, Jennifer, for the follow. I greatly appreciate having everybody here and for all the follows. I uh, figured, 
A lot of people on Christmas Day wanted something to do. Come in, chit chat. Hopefully Santa found you and brought you something cool. <laughs> Santa's a little bit late for me today. Well, hello to you too. Are you ready for 2022? <laughs> Do you have a New Year's resolution that you're going to stick to? I have New Year's resolutions, but I won't say it because I probably won't do it. <laughs> like exercising. I'm going to start exercising every day in 2022 and that will never happen. So I might as well just keep it to myself. But I want to show you these. Look, they actually fit really nice. And if you were following me back in July, I did, I even did a couple of live streams and I showed I had uh, brain surgery and they cut all here. So I have a huge scar. And so even my glasses hitting it, that scar can, can cause a little bit of tenderness. But I've been wearing these earbuds and the way that they fit, they don't put pressure on my ears, which when I show you the headsets, I'm going to show you that too, because anything that puts pressure on this ear can cause me problems. These don't, they set really nice, they're lightweight, and they go right in. It takes a second to, to get them in your ears good, but there they are. I can still hit the volume on the back side. I can answer the phone. I can turn them on and off. And let me tell you, I said he had, <coughs> we had a cruise down the Las Vegas Strip the other night. And rat rods and hot rods and classic cars put lights all over their cars. We had a bunch of people out. We had Santa, Mrs. Claus, and their favorite elf, Judy. And we cruised the strip and I had, I did the video and pictures. So I had a ton of pictures to edit. So I put in my earbuds, turned on my favorite music, sat in here and I worked about, it took me about six hours because nighttime shots with Christmas lights and the lights from the strip and everything. I had a lot of editing to do, but I sat here listening to music, just jamming away. The bad thing is nobody else could hear the music but me, but they could hear me singing. So <laughs> they didn't get to enjoy being my voice being drowned out by the music. <laughs> they instead just heard me. Not sure that's a good thing, but it's the way it is. So check these out. You want some great little earbuds. Like I said, they're super comfortable because if they weren't, I would know it on that side of my ear. That ear is, you know, I'm still dealing with it, but it, these work great. And then you can just, oops, let me put it in here, put them in the box. Oops. Get them plugged in. So they start charging and you're good to go. And there are little buttons here, and I need to charge this box. I can tell you that. And it comes with the USB cord, so I can do that, which I ought to do it before the next show because these will be dead, and I'll be trying to demonstrate them, and they won't even light up. Trub Labs. These are the X3 Pro. Super comfortable. Answer your phone. Talk on your phone. In fact, I go outside. I wander around. My phone is in the house and I'm outside with my earbuds walking around on my phone. I love that. I don't have to carry that phone with me. And everybody I've talked to said the audio sounds great. So there you go. It's one of those days. It's a Saturday. Let's see. Let's check up on some comments because I've got to ramble and Lamont, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, Lamont is another live streamer here on Amazon. The Amazon live streamers are waking up today. They've been all busy. It's been a long November and December for us. We've had all done a lot of streams, a lot of things going on. So great to have you here. Uh, yes. Jennifer says, hey, Lamont, Merry Christmas, Evans. 
Hey, it's Lamont. Yes, Lamont is moving about on Amazon out checking on us. That's what he's doing. Uh, let's see here. Mia says, that's so good to know. Thanks for the helpful information about the earpiece. Yes. Let me tell you, I do love those those earbuds. Because like I said, when I had my nerve disorder before I had the surgery, well, before I had the disorder, I had, uh, I loved earbuds. And then with the disorder, I couldn't use them for a long time. After I got the surgery and everything is healed and <clears throat> I figured, they say it's, you know, it takes a while for everything to heal. So I didn't push it. But when I got sent these earbuds, I'm like, it's time to try them. And I love them. And like I said, it, they don't even hurt my ear. Because my ear is a little picky at times. Uh, Lamont says, "I'm the, oh, I was the only one right now. You know what? That's why I came on. I look at it this way. Lots of people, you know, for whatever reason, aren't doing anything today. So they might as well. I might as well come out, say hi. I don't want to sit at home alone on Christmas, so I want to come see my friends. <laughs> uh, hello, Freddie. It's Christmas. I can't believe it's Christmas. I almost said Christmas Eve. I was wrong. Mm. Yes, Mims, you know what? This year is going to be good. I got no doubt about it. We are going to have a good year. Uh, yeah, you're right, Mims. You know, that's the thing is a lot of people didn't get together for whatever reason, whether it's restrictions or somebody wasn't feeling good, whatever. So it's okay. You know what? We're just hanging out here. Me, I didn't have anything to do. I figured there's got to be other people out there just like me. And we have been on live two hours, 57 minutes and 33 seconds. It's been a good day. I've loved hanging out here. We have found out that most people didn't get snow. Nobody's willing to put up their New Year's resolutions. We decided that binoculars were not the word I needed. I needed monoculars, and it is a word. Monooculars, monoculars, something like that. Where you look through one piece instead of two. Uh, infrared, you can see zombies, we're pretty sure. So my night vision binoculars that I have in the carousel i got them i should be able to see zombies because they're not heat it's actually just the light so i think we'll be good to go on the zombie apocalypse with those if not i'll probably be eaten by zombies and won't be able to come tell you because i'll never see them coming <laughs> gotta have fun Enough seriousness. Let's see, Lamont, exactly. Most folks do their Christmas in the morning, and this is the after party. You're absolutely right. I am all for that. Uh, yeah, prayers to those who got stuck at the airports after they canceled. The, oh, no, are they canceling flights? That is not good. That would be irritating. And, oh, here we go. We got a, somebody brave enough to put a New Year's resolution in. And, in fact, I will make Lamont stick to this one. Watch out. I'll, I'll tell everybody. Lamont says, my New Year's resolution is to stream more often. Mine, too. <laughs> I should... I want to get a regular stream, you know, the same day, the same time. It just gets kind of crazy. And that's, you know, 
I want to do that. Hopefully I will be able to get that figured out. Uh, as soon as Christmas is over, I'm going to be changing up the backgrounds and doing a bunch of stuff. I also have a bunch of products that I'll be getting. I've got a couple drones coming. I think oh, I got some more kitchen stuff coming. I don't know what all I have. I'm confused. Ooh, I have a nightstand or a, a nightstand or a dresser. I don't know which one I'm I bought. I haven't got it together yet. It's actually in a box still. I haven't put it together. I'd like to get some more furniture to show. We'll see how that goes. Kind of depends on what kind of money I have. Because uh, things I have to buy, I have to watch my budget too. Then see if we can get some brands to send some cool stuff so I can show you. Let's see. Evan says, Dana wanted me to let you know she got booted off your chat. I didn't boot her off my chat. But you know... The other day, I was in Caleb's chat, and I I said just said hi to him, and then I got booted, and it wouldn't let me back on. So, I don't know. Sometimes I think it just boots out of the cause. And we tried to figure it out, because other people could chat. I could chat on other streams, but Caleb didn't boot me out. We don't know why I did. I just, it went. Uh, and Mims asked, what flights were canceled? Yeah. I don't know. All I know is that would really irritate me if a flight got canceled. And I was stuck somewhere. And Lamont says, it's fine that I told everybody his New Year's resolution. So you all were here to hear it. And he says, uh, he's been consistent for the last three weeks. And you're proud of I'm proud of you, too. That's a good job. Three weeks. Now you are on. Now it's easy street. It's getting those first those first few weeks, getting in that, that rhythm. And then you'll be doing good. Now, I can say that, but I haven't done it. Although I, I started a new YouTube channel. In fact, this live stream will be the first video on it. And I've got videos scheduled. So I'm going to be doing both for Amazon Live and then YouTube shopping. So I got to get this set up to do at a regular schedule. And Lamont, be sure to put a link to your shop here in the chat so everybody can find you. And follow you because Lamont just made a New Year's resolution and we're going to hold it, hold him to it. So you got to go over there and follow him to make sure he is staying consistent. Because if he isn't, mm -hmm. son, you don't want that to happen. We'll all know it. <laughs> uh, we got to have fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I I would hate, yeah, flights canceled is not good. I mean, I understand with weather sometimes, but yeah. Oh, and Lamont is going live in 30 minutes, so y'all be sure to get over there, follow him, and check him out in 30 minutes. By 30 minutes, I should be leaving, so when you all leave my stream... You head right over to Lamont's. And right there is the link. Do not miss it. So follow him. And <coughs> Lamont, I'm super glad you stopped in. Yeah, we've been live here three hours and four minutes. And I'm going to entrust you to take over. Because like I said, I've been live three hours. I don't want anybody sitting at home by themselves on Christmas or so I figured I'd come on and when I get done here, I'm passing it to you. It's your job to make sure nobody's sitting at home alone for a while. And that way I can take a break and I may come back, but I want to make sure somebody is on just in case. 
what we do here. And exactly, I agree, Lamont. There's a lot of things Amazon needs to let us do that they don't. <laughs> like me go to car shows. I should be able to go to car shows. I used to. So I got in trouble. And I'm looking for my other speaker. I'm over here in a daze. I'm just spending time with y'all. That's all it is. That's what was my whole goal today is to come on. Of course, with Amazon, I need to show some products, but I want to be here so nobody, you know, everybody can tune in, say hi, pass along their New Year's resolutions. We were looking for people that had a white Christmas, but I pretty much gave up on that because there's only been one person. <laughs> everybody else has been warm today. Uh and Lamont's going to be on Amazon Live playing video games. Oh, see, I don't know how to play no video games. I'll just watch you in chat. Uh, yes, it has been over three hours, three hours and six minutes. You're absolutely right. I'm here to make sure nobody's sitting home alone, nobody's shopping alone. Everybody's got somebody to come in and say hi to live. And uh, you never know. Somebody might just need a friendly face and we're going to be here for them. Nobody's by themselves today. And Lamont says we should be able to go to events, especially if it's a vendor that sells on Amazon. Yeah, because I did media for SEMA. C SEMA. SEMA. I would have loved to have done that, but I didn't want to push too many rules because I'd already, I'd already done that. I really have done it. And we were talking about speakers. I showed you my Treb Labs. One speaker, I showed you my earbuds. Here's another speaker. This is portable wireless. See my tongue. Ever since my brain surgery went, half my tongue will go numb and part of my face when I talk a lot. Here's another portable speaker. Uh, Hello, Lady M. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you are ready for the new year. Lamont gave us a New Year's resolution. We're going to hold him to it. I don't know what mine is yet. Maybe I should do like Lamont and say I'm going to be consistent on live streaming. I should just set a schedule and do it. No matter what, like the mailman, rain, hail, sleep, you name it, I'm here. I figured I came in on Christmas. I, I live stream Thanksgiving Day, Christmas. I have no life is what I'm telling you. Uh, let's see. Kieran says, it's really great to enjoy your company more. How much time will it? take I'll schedule my time you know I haven't figured out yet what what days and time I'm going to be able to go live yet consistently I I've got to figure that out because I know it's kind of some of the live streamers they have celebrities and all that and when they do that it's very hard for us other people regular people to have you know, you even find our stream. <clears throat> so I kind of work around that and everything else going on, but I'm going to get that figured out. So if y'all make sure and click the follow, then I'll be getting that set up. Like I said, I uh, just set a, a Instagram and a YouTube for shopping with Cheryl because this off the jacks is actually my car channel. And all I do there is car shows on YouTube and I do a uh, promotion for local car shows and all. So it's kind of, it wasn't made for shopping. So I did this shopping with Cheryl for YouTube and Instagram so that I can start changing things over and doing reviews on products and all. So I'm trying to get that all going right now at the beginning of the year. 
and I'm going to get it done with your help, of course. Uh, Jill Mar, thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you're having great holidays. Maybe you had the white Christmas because the rest of us didn't. Hope Santa Claus found you. And I don't care who you are. I hope Santa Claus finds you. Whether you believe in Santa or not is not a big deal. <laughs> Maybe just some Christmas joy, some kind of joy came. Uh, oh, thank you, Lamont, for the follow again. <laughs> I do that too, where you, yeah, just so that it, it encourages others to click that follow button. And for all of you that wa are watching, Lamont's going to go live here in a little bit. He's going to be playing some video games. He knows video games. I don't. I know Mahjong. That's it. That's a computer game. I like it. When I'm trying to calm down to go to bed, I will play it sometimes just to kind of let my brain relax. That's the only one I know. I used to play something with Crash Bandicoot when my daughter was little. But I don't know what that is. Uh, Crash. Way back. This was uh, this was mid-90s, I think. <laughs> That's how long it's been. Oh, and look. Dana. Dana is following. Thank you, Dana. You're making me feel special. Three hours, 11 minutes, and 35 seconds. I love spending Christmas with you guys. I think we're having a good time getting to see some products. And like I said, Lamont will be going live here in a little bit. So you all can always jump over there. Now, I want to give everybody a reminder. If you have something in your cart that is a deal, especially if it is a deal, I want you to do this. As soon as you leave the live stream, you need to go and check out and get that that already paid for, get it ordered, all of that. Because if that deal ends and you haven't done that, then you can miss the deal. So don't forget, whenever you're watching a live stream, especially, and you've put some deals in your cart, be sure to go ahead and do the checkout get it completely done before you forget because if it all of a sudden ends we can't do anything to help you when a deal ends it it's just gone we don't have any power to change that so i don't want you to miss those good deals and uh let's see all right lamont you go set up you have a great live stream i'll stop by in a little bit say hi and enjoy your Christmas, and I am sure I will see you again very soon. Kick some butt over there, Lamont. Literally, you're playing a game. Kick some butt. I know that's what most of them do. Uh, let's see. And Mim says, I'll take you back further. Atari. I remember Atari. When I was growing up, one of the first, we were the first people, in fact, in our town, and it was a little small town, we had the game Pong. And, and it had two little paddles and a ball and a line. And the, you went and you played basically tennis and hit the little ball back and forth, two players. We thought we had something. I remember when we got that and it got special ordered and sent to one of the electronics places there in our town. Cause like I said, we were a little town. So we hooked that up and we thought we were special pong because you could move the little thing, hit the ball. That's how old I am. <laughs> yes. Back in the seventies. Kids nowadays would see the games we played and be like, what is that? But then again, they can't use a rotary phone. So what do we care? <laughs> I know how to use a rotary phone. I even know what a party line is. But yes, back in the 70s, when all of this was just starting out, 
And it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. It's been a while. Oh, yes, Lamont says he had an Atari, too. We thought we were something, because you get an Atari. That, that was the hottest ticket. Oh, Mim, 68. Well, you're a little bit older than me, so yeah. You remember all of this fun stuff. And how we thought we were uh, special. <laughs> Wish you were back in your 40s. Yeah, if I was back in my 40s, I'm trying to think of what would have been that. No. Yeah, I'm not going backwards. Too much stuff I'd have to redo and have to rethink about. I've already made all those mistakes. Let them be gone. <laughs> I learned, moved on. Uh, party lines, yes. Exactly, where you would pick up the phone, and if your neighbors, you could hear them, then you had, you know, and my parents, if I was to ever pick up the phone and hear a neighbor, I was to immediately hang up unless it was an emergency, and then I had to tell my neighbor, you know, who I was and what the emergency was, because it was just people right there around us. Uh, let's see, they still have party lines. That's crazy. Then again, I know some people still have landlines and people are like, huh? I had a landline till just a couple of years ago and finally gave it up because I had my internet through it. Let's see. Oh, and T San 1990 says they opened all of their gifts from Amazon. See, it's Amazon Santa. In fact, I was waiting on Amazon Santa yesterday, and he didn't make it, so maybe he'll be here tomorrow. Amazon Santa. And I say that because we have the Amazon, you know, you can get on the app to see where they're at, and you can see the little Santa traveling at Christmas time. So I would be like, Amazon Santa's down the block, got to watch. And Evan says, I have the Atari 2600 and 7800 with all the games, and they both still work. Snap! You must have taken... I wouldn't even know where to look for... I'm sure... I'm sure my mother got rid of them sometime way back. I have no idea. That's crazy, though. That's... That's kind of cool if they both still work and you got the games. Yeah. I don't even have anything like that. I got my computer, but my internet here isn't good enough to, to use game. But, let's see. Pac, uh, yes, Mims mentions Pac-Man and Space Invaders. I remember that. Kids, you missed that. We had so much fun. Uh, Evan says, fun to play the old games. Yes. I I think it would be just some, now it seems like they're so action packed. I'm like, and my youngest daughter, she loved the racing games uh, when she was little. And I was terrified. Because the way she drove on that game, I thought she ever gets her license and and we're all dead. <laughs> Thank God. And that's that changed, but I'm like, she would be just like, oh, it don't matter if I crash. I'll just get a new car. I'm like, not in real life. Keep that in mind. Yes. I am so glad all of you are here today. We've got uh, 41 people watching. We've got a great chat going. We are, we are enjoying the day. It's Christmas. Thank you to everyone who has clicked the follow button. I greatly appreciate it. Amazon thinks I'm special when you do that. And we have, like I said, Treblabs sent me 
four items two speakers and a headphone and a earbuds we've been on live three hours and 19 minutes and 58 seconds we are just a going nobody should sit at home alone on christmas nobody needs to be sitting there bored jump in say hi click that follow button it's all good all right so another speaker let me get this all out here you go it's got all of the instructions and this one also comes with a usb cord to charge the av for the if you want to use audio and it has the little it's got a square carabiner i haven't put on yet it also has a strap that you can loop through in case you want to use that now the speaker itself i i get these out i use them and then i put them back in so they look nice <sighs> looks like a rocket yes it does now here you go another 360 speaker it does have the flat side so you can set it down it's not going to roll away of course because if it was around it might roll off but it'll sit there and you can work the volume up now this does have a little bit of a texture so you can feel it if it's dark you can feel it and it's got the lower volume the power now this you can either skip songs with a light click or if you hold it for a few seconds it will answer your phone or call back <laughs> i hit redialed i think this is the one i was using when it redialed and i'm like what happened i didn't read the instructions gotta do that sometimes so this is an amazing little speaker like i said let's see here so i can get it off the box and not mess up it ability to pair two speakers so you can pair two speakers so you get more of a surround sound and it is ipx6 water resistant don't throw it in the leg don't drop it in the toilet but if it rains a little bit it is water resistant if you spill your water probably good i would when people say, have you ever checked to see if they're water, you know, if they'll float, if they're water resistant? Well, I have a fish pond. I could throw them in, but I'm not going to do that. For one thing, once they get wet with fish pond water, they're going to stink. <laughs> For another, I don't want to worry about it. I'd rather just not put them in water. Let's see. Shockproof body because this has like a, a rubbery and back here too, so that it is going to... It, unless you drop it from high up, if you hit something just right, yes, it could damage it. But if you're using, you know, trying to be careful, you're good to go. And yes, you can hook your strap right on here and your carabiner. So you can carry it up to 20 hours play time. So that's awesome. 20 hours. You don't need music longer than that. You can plug it in and charge it if you need music longer than that. Huh. And what else? 25 watt speaker, 360 HD sound. USB plugs in right back here. Let me. The thing is, they seal these tight. Trip Labs seals them. So there you go. You've got your uh, USB and then you've got your audio. Now here again, like with the FX100, this speaker also, I can answer the phone. Like I said, I hit the center and answered the phone. So I don't have to have my phone right there to answer it and to talk. So this has a mic also. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Makes it easier for me. So if I'm somewhere and got it playing, music and my phone's not right there with me i can answer the phone and talk on it i love that so do my earbuds i can also talk on the phone with those because that's what i've been using a lot lately 
I love it. Love, love, love it. Let's turn these on for a second so you can see them. So you can see them. Look, nice. Ooh, ooh. I think it just paired with my other phone. And I've got an Android and an iPhone. So I run two different phones. Depending on what I'm doing, I have different ones for different jobs. So it does work with both right there. You can see I do run a Samsung and an Apple. And these all work with both of them. That is a Samsung S20 Plus, And my iPhone is an iPhone 11. So if you're worried whether or not they will work with one or the other, they work with both of mine. So there you go. We've got, like I said, volume up, volume down. You can also, whatever device you're using, you can use your volume there. I have had these out and about, been using them, and I love them. Now, this one does not have the power pack where you can charge from. This one has where you, oops, sorry, upside down. This one has, you can use it as a power bank. So there's some differences here, not a whole lot, just little differences that you can check out. This one also plays for longer. Like I said, has the power pack. It's kind of up to you on what you want it for and what you're going to do with it if you're looking for portable speakers. Now, let me turn this off so I don't run the battery down. It's so happy. Let me put this way. Like I said, it does come with the USB cord with a strap with the AVs. All of that right here in this box. And as with all of the Treb Labs things, they are packed great. I don't like getting packages where the packing has been less than stellar. And... I want it to make sure that when it gets here, it actually is in one piece. It's not dented. And if I'm using it for a gift, I want it to look nice when someone opens it. I don't want it to look like some cheap little thing in terrible packing. Treb Labs goes above and beyond with their packing. Let me tell you. Yeah. They do nice. The box is heavy duty. It's padded. Amazon customer, thank you so much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. We are now looking at some speakers. Like I said, Treb Labs, all four items were packed extremely well. So sending me these as a gift, I didn't worry about, <coughs> are they going to get them and they're going to be okay? Are they going to be dented? Is it going to look like garbage when they open it and think, mm, these were nice? Okay, so I've shown you, oh, my nose. Hang on just one second. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I didn't want to sneeze on you. <laughs> I'm like, it's going to happen whether I'm alive or not. We can't always control that. So thank you. We have shown you for the speaker side of things. We had the two portable speakers. We looked at the earbuds. All four are Treb Labs. Now we are going to look at the headsets. Now, like I said, I had a nerve disorder and I could not have anything touch my ear, touch my face, anything like that for a long time. I've had, since had brain surgery, they fixed the nerve disorder in July, but I still have been very cautious because I was afraid. So when Treb Labs sent these, the earbuds, I decided I'd try. I wasn't sure. But I tried them, love them. Now, the next thing I have is the, the headset. And let me tell you, I was really leery about that because if anything pushes on my ear before I had surgery, it, it caused extreme pain. 
Now, since I've had surgery and they cut basically right here, I have really watched it because it's still got tender spots, even though it was in July. And I thought, uh, I'm not sure about this. It's okay though. Thanks to my favorite neurosurgeon, Dr. Anson in Las Vegas. I'm good to go. I can use the headsets. I can actually turn on the speakers on this. Even when I use speakers, I couldn't use them on that side. A little bit of brain surgery goes a long ways, let me tell you. So these I can wear now. And I've tried these with, well, hello, it's me, Tyler. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So glad to see you here. I hope you had a good Christmas. I figure uh, you must not be live streaming or maybe you're getting ready to go stream here in a little bit. Be sure to leave a link to your shop in the chat so everybody can find you. Because it's me, Tyler. You can go over there and he's he's kind of funny. Sometimes I laugh at him. That's okay because he's laughing at himself. He's got some cool stuff. He's always got some good tech stuff. I can tell you that. Uh, Tyler is going to go live in about an hour. See, I beat everybody on today. I've been live right now for 3 hours, 31 minutes, and 22 seconds. I don't want anybody to sit at home alone on Christmas, so I was sitting home alone. Figured I'd come in here, see my friends. <laughs> and there is a link to Tyler's stream. Be sure to jump over there. Make sure you follow him so when he goes live, you're going to see some cool stuff. And you can laugh at him because he laughs at himself all the time. I think. Maybe I just laugh at him. He, he's a good egg. I'll put it that way. And let me, ooh, I didn't highlight this. But yes, three hours, 32 minutes. And I figured more people would be going live as it got later in the day and they got done with their Christmas things. But yeah, I didn't want anybody sitting home alone, so we've just been doing this. And I was sneezing a little earlier. All right, let me figure out if I can get these open. Like I said, when Trab Labs sent these to me, I loved the packing. That is one thing I was impressed with when I first opened them was the packing. Because I don't want something, if I'm going to send it as a gift... I don't want something that gets dented. I don't want something that looks cheap. You know, no. Nice. They look great. And these boxes are heavy duty. They're not some little wimpy paper box. They are heavy duty. So when whoever you send it to opens it up, they're going to think, ooh, ooh. That costs some big bucks because it feels expensive, but they're priced very reasonably, but they just have that look of amazing. So here you go. See, I'm telling you, and this is a magnetic box and I always think that's impressive. So it feels I get excited about the silly little things, but presentation is a lot. That has a whole big thing when you go to buying uh, items or if you're going to get it for somebody. How it's presented is huge. If it just came in a little cheap bag, it it wouldn't be the same. You don't you don't think that the same about it. So I love this. Like you can see the little magnets right here. And let's take these out. Let's see. They are... Oh, I'll take them out first so you can. I can show you. And this isn't... It isn't hard, but it's, it's firm. So it's going to help protect them. And it's got a strap. And here we go. The big reveal. Are you all excited? I am. And I even know what's in here. Ready? Ta-da! I 
think this is cool. This side has the little bag. In here, you have the AV. You want to plug audio in. You've got your USB charger cord. And I don't know why I have another carabiner in here. I don't know why I'd need a care. Oh, to hook onto the strap. I'm sorry. I'm slow today. I've been slow apparently for a couple weeks because so I didn't figure that out. So you can hook this on and attach it to something. <laughs> Oops. Now, inside here is this is also, it's not like a cardboard, it's a fabric over it, so it feels nice. And then you have the pocket. And then let me make sure I don't spill all this. These are strapped in your your headphones are strapped in and this is a firm 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 foam so it's going to keep them in place now let's take these out and take a look and like i said i love these they're really comfortable the sound is good they don't press on my ears and i can talk on the phone with them so Let's do this. And once you get them out, so they're going to go right back in the same place every time. <coughs> Look at that. Treble labs. I am so glad they sent them to me. I, I am excited. Here you go. Now, they've got three buttons here. You've got volume. You've got on and off. And like I said, you can answer the phone with these. So that makes this a super handy. They also have on this one noise canceling. So if you want to cancel the rest of the noise, you can turn this on so it's going to cancel anything out. And now I think I put them on backwards because I always put these buttons on the back because it's easier to work. Yeah, I no, it's not backwards. Now, again, I hook these up to both my Sam, oh, there it goes, my Samsung and my Apple. These are working with it. So I have tried it on both. And look at, see, I like this. So these turn, they're not going to, they're not just breaking. This is super soft. It, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a, uh, like a pleather that's really soft so it's not just a a hard plastic that's going to feel yucky on your face they feel good on your face and you've got a little bit of room in here so they're not flat pushing on your ear your ear can actually go in here a little bit and not get pressed on because a lot of headsets will just smash your ears on these don't and they look good too so they're adjustable and this is soft so like i said it's not gonna smash your ears and make you uncomfortable and even with my glasses on they feel good and i always if i've got my hat on i can wear them i just i love these and like i said when i'm on the phone and i'm talking and i don't want everybody to hear all the conversation i can put these on or I can use my earbuds and the people can hear me I can hear them but everybody else around can't and therefore I love my Treb Labs earbuds and my headphones and like I said they're all packaged very nicely each one of these items is packaged nicely and here I am talking to you with headphones on. <laughs> okay. And I'll show these to you again. Super nice. They all work really well. And for the price, I think you're getting a heck of a deal. I mean, you can get extremely good speakers, earbuds, all that. Some of them are so expensive, they're not that much better. I like these. I am excited. When they when they sent them to me, I didn't know how much I was going to like them. I was like, mm, we'll see. <laughs> you know how that goes. 
sometimes you don't know you like something until you get it. So yeah, these look really nice in the, like I said, this is fairly firm. It's, you can't sit on it. It's not that firm, but it's going to hold shape. It's not just a piece of fabric and has a container here. There you go. Let me flip which side flips. That's one thing with this. I can't ever remember which. One. There it goes. Oops. Get my finger in. The magnetic's pretty heavy duty. And I'll put these back in here. So they're going to look nice when they come. And you've got a nice carrying case. The little earbuds have the nice little hard case. I think they do an excellent job. I'm just saying. So, we have looked at all kinds of things today. It's been three hours and 40 minutes. We're almost, we almost hit four hours. I know uh, <coughs> we've got some more live streamers that are going live, which is awesome. Because I need a break. My voice will go here in a little bit. Oops, what did I just do? That's not what I'm trying to work my phone. Where did I go? We have saw all kinds of things today. I made a mix mash of things. We did have the glass out, see the unseen, infrared, night vision binoculars that I am going to use. They were sent to me and I'm going to use them and get ready for the zombie apocalypse. Or aliens from Area 51. They might be coming this way. And what else cool did we have? We had all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, my truck. If you missed it, I'm sorry. We had a fun time with my truck. So, thank you to everybody that followed me today. I greatly appreciate it. it makes me feel special. Hope you're going to join us again. I will be uh, possibly going live again today. I don't know. Probably see you tomorrow for sure. Let's check this out. Four wheel drive. <laughs> Gotta do it. I have too much fun with this. I've got, as far as I know, I've got some drones coming this week that we will be doing an unboxing and I will be checking them out as soon as I get a good day to. I, I won't be able to check them out if the rain, windy, storm and things like that. So as soon as I get them, get it figured out, got to read the instructions, of course, and stuff, then I will be checking those out. We'll do an unboxing and then I'll try to get some video because... They have a 4K camera and an 8, 1080 camera are the cameras on those. Let's see. What else have we done today? If you've got specials in your cart from the items, be sure to go do a checkout right now so that you don't miss those deals. Because if those deals end, you could miss them. And there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, let's see. We have had all kinds of stuff. Coffee makers, uh, da, 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 bar sets. I'm just trying to make sure I hit everything. If you got any questions, go ahead and ask them in the chat because we're going to be ending here in a few because it has been three hours, 43 minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> but some of the other live streamers are coming on to make sure you've got somebody to go shopping with you. Uh, I will probably be grabbing my, my pillow and going over and taking a nap for a little bit. I might need one. Let's see, where is that? Oh, there it is. We'll highlight that for you. Now, if you're new to Amazon Alive, I'll give you a quick, since we've got more people coming in and out. There is a carousel below you can hit on either end. And check out any of the products, whether I'm talking about them or not. You can 
see something you like, click over, boom, you're right on that page. If you got questions, ask during the chat. The chat is only available while we are live. Once the show ends, if you're watching the replay, there is no chat. So be sure to jump in, click that follow button so you know when I go live. That way you can come in, ask questions. Let's see. Everybody have a great Christmas. Everybody ready for a new year? I ask all day today, did you get snow? And what's your new year's resolution? We had one person that got snow. That's it. And Lamont told us his new year's resolution is to stream more consistently. So we're going to hold him to that. Let's see. Well, hello, Zoe. Nice to have you here. It is our Christmas live stream. I was sitting here doing nothing. Didn't want anybody else to be sitting alone and thought, we'll we'll jump on live. Always nice to have a live person. <laughs> Susan, thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. We are, we are going to set records for following today. Maybe. <laughs> it might be my own record, but that's okay. We have been going strong for three hours, 46 minutes on Christmas Day. Did you get anything great that you just were in shock that you got? You were like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I've always wanted this. One of their surprise gifts. You know how they are. Somebody always finds something you forgot about. <laughs> and then when you get it, you're like, oh, I didn't think of that. I've got those before. Let me see. I want to show. I figure I'll show you. I'll, uh, I know some of y'all are just tuning in, so I'll go back over a few of the special items so we can hit that four-hour mark. Might as well. We're, we're so close. I don't know how many new followers I got today, but we're going we're gonna to try to get those up so I can set a new record there, too. Four hours. I haven't done that since Black Friday. <laughs> I usually don't do four hours, but today... It was special. Very few people on. I wanted to make sure that y'all could stop in, see what was going on. Let me show you this real quick. Because like I said, it is Christmas. Somebody asked me earlier if I was going to sing, and I said, no, you don't want me to. And this is a retro hot dog toaster crazy. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I'm like, I got, I got to buy that. Cause yeah, I love the look of it. Now, before I forget them, cause I always forget to show y'all here are the tongs. Now they aren't the best tongs, but they'll work if this is what you have. They just are a little hard to work. Now check this out. Bright red, like back in the old, uh, Cafe days is what it looks like to me. And you're going to put two hot dogs in here. Open your buns and put your buns in here. Then you can set how long you want it to go. Now, I'm going to tell you, if, you're, if your hot dogs are cold and they've been in like the refrigerator, you're going to have to go at least to five. But, 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 wait. You may not want to put your buns in for that long or it may over toast them. So you can set this, push it down. Start your hot dogs and then put your buns in right before they're done. So your buns just get warm or a little toasted and not overly toasted. Now, if you start thinking, oh, it's overly done and you can't push this up, just hit the little stop button and then it will be done. Now, I do love the look of this. One of the things I worried when I was looking at it and I thought, because I, I really want to buy it and I thought, Ooh, what if hot dog juice drips down there and it's going to sit? No, I don't want it. <laughs> Had to look a little closer. And let me see which end am I. Then I figured it out. No worries, Cheryl. We're not going to have 
gross hot dog juice and crumbs down there. You can pull out the tray, wash it. It's going to have any kind of liquid that comes from your hot dogs, crumbs from your buns, all that right here. Wash it and then just pop it back in. And that takes the really gross factor out because all I could picture was hot dog grease down in there and bugs. It's okay though. So I just love the look of this. And it was the first thing I showed in my stream today. So I figured I'd bring it back up for all of you just tuning in. I think it's more than cool. I'm not even a hot dog fan. But I, I'm a fan of this just because of how it looks. And yes, we do use it. It is not just sitting around looking pretty. In fact, I probably need to wash it a little bit because, yeah. You don't mind, do you? And, oops, let me see here. And I'll show you my popcorn popper that I also love because it popcorn's a food group, people. I'm telling you. All right, let me see here. All right, this is my newest popcorn popper. I've had it for a few weeks. It is a microwave popcorn popper. I'm pretty sure you figured that out. We aren't going to set this on the stove because the red is plastic. Let's not put it on the flame. Don't put it on the barbecue. Don't put it on the stove. Microwave only, please. Now, this is the small one. This is a single one. They do have a bigger one, you know, if you want to pop it and be able to share. I personally don't need to share, and I also don't need a bunch of popcorn because I'll eat it. The more popcorn I make, the more I eat. Oh, if you're hunting your coffee cup, I sold it. <clears throat> and the hot dog holder in the top pops out so you can clean that. Oh, it does pop out? Oh, okay. He was telling me the hot dog holder piece pops out also so you can clean it. I haven't tried that yet. See? He cleaned it, not me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can't even see this. Miller... Miller Meat 805. I was going to say, the, the text is so tiny on my phone. <laughs> I'm like, I, I need, wait, I needed the monoculars. I'm old. I can't see. And I don't have on my right glasses for reading this. Uh, Miller Me 805. <laughs> I'm old and I know it. If I had on my other glasses, I'd probably be able to see it. Yeah, Tyler was in earlier. He said he is going to go live. He said about an hour, and that was 20 minutes ago. So probably in about 30, 40 minutes, he'll be going live. He stopped in, and I will probably, by the time he goes live, I'm going to be done. I've been on for three hours, 53 minutes, and 22 seconds. We aren't letting anybody shop alone today, even if it's Christmas. I know some of the other live streamers are now starting to pop on for the evening, which is, there again, means you get to shop with somebody, come in and say hi instead of sitting there by yourself. We don't want that. How old am I? I am in my mid-50s. How's that? <laughs> heading, over, heading over that mid-side, but that's close enough, okay? We don't, we don't always give exact ages. And sometimes I don't know my exact age. I try to, I have birthdays and I forget what it is. And I'm like, huh, not that important to remember. <laughs> so, like I said, this is, uh, your papa is in his 70s. I'm not quite there yet. I'm working on it. 70 isn't, you know, 70 is not old anymore it used to be now it's not some of us still you know 
people think of their grandmas not being able to get on computers and work the cell phones and do everything. My grandkids, let me tell you, they're in deep trouble because I've been I've been doing this for years. I can I can do all kinds of things. Their granny isn't the typical old grandma. But here we go. This is like I said, my microwave popcorn popper. I have been using this single serve. They do have a bigger size. You can fill the popcorn up to this line. Don't overpack it or it's going to burn in the center. So when someone says, oh, my popcorn burned. A, you overpack the popcorn because there's a little line here. Don't overpack it or it gets tight in the center. Burns. Or you left it too long. You wait. You put it in. Three to five minutes. Depends on the power of your microwave. And the thing is, once it, it stops popping every couple of seconds, then you can turn it off. You can also put your butter up here so that the butter melts onto your popcorn. Makes just enough for me. Because if I make more, I eat more. So I wanted to throw that on for you. Uh, Miller Me says, 805 says, how is my Christmas? You know what? My Christmas, I've been here chit-chatting with friends, having a good day. And I am, I'm waiting for New Year's. We are going to be in 2022. I didn't come on, I didn't stream yesterday. So, but I decided to stream today. Yesterday I did some other stuff and today I thought, you know what? I'll come on and live stream. So nobody, you know, somebody sitting at home bored, they can pop in and say hi. Tell me about their Christmas or their non-Christmas. <laughs> I don't care. Well, thank you very much for the follow. I greatly appreciate it. We are setting follow records today. We are also about to set. I, I think my longest live stream was almost four hours or right at four hours. I don't remember. But we're heading there right now. We've got three hours and 57 minutes under our belt today on Amazon Live. Visiting with cool people. Showing off some cool products. Some products are cooler than others. I'm not picky though. I just, honestly, I just wanted to grab some stuff so that I could come on. I didn't care what I grabbed. I grabbed what was handy. And then I wanted to show you my Treb Labs speakers and stuff. So I grabbed those. I mean, I had a I had a little planter that I got. Because it was handy and I haven't had it on. I'm like, oh, I'll grab that. I'll grab. I just wanted to come on and see you. Uh, what you be, my friend? I, I'm not sure about that. I don't know what I am. Some days I'm old and grumpy. That just happens. Let's see here. I'll show you the planter again because, like I said, we, we are setting. I want to make sure I hit that, that four-hour mark. Might as well make it even, you know. Let me see. Where did I put this? Oh, would, would I be your friend? You know what? I'm friends with a lot of people. As long as you're a good human, I'm I'm good with you. There we go. I highlighted it in the carousel below. I saw people saying it's so small when they reviewed it, when they talked about it and they were upset. Well, it is eight inches by three inches, and that's counting the edging. Okay, I'm gonna show this to you. I keep my tape measure here handy. See, it is not a big planter. It's for little tiny plants. But it's heavy as all get out. Because this is like a stone. No kidding. And it's, those are actual little crevices that you can feel. 
and it's got the plug on the bottom that you can take out if you're going to put dirt in here and have a plant and you don't want it to overflow but if you're going to have it on your desk on your counter anything like that you're going to want to leave the plug in so you don't drip water it also has little foam cushions check that out so i figured i'd get it out and show you i'm gonna put some little uh zebra aloe in it just because it's so cute so i'll probably use some little zebra aloe i have 700 cactus and i'll figure something out because i don't want anything too big and i don't like bringing cactus in the house so much a lot of my cactus are not good in the house because they happen to drop their little spines and then you have them everywhere so i may put some little uh probably zebra aloe that's what i think would look cute in there and since I hadn't got to show it to anybody since I bought it, I figured I'd throw it in here. If you aren't following, be sure to click that follow button. I greatly appreciate it. And we have hit the four-hour mark. Can you believe it? We did it. Thank you to all of you coming in and saying hi. For everybody following, for everybody uh, just stopping in and stalking checking us out <laughs> and we are moving right along because I know my timer up there is a little faster than my timer on my live stream and let me see here like I said I've just been chit chatting with y'all keeping y'all are keeping me company otherwise I'd sit here and be bored on Christmas Day and we can't have that Let's see. We had a humidifier. I'm just, I'm now just burning a little bit of time going through things to show you. Because, like I said, I want to hit that mark so that it is on there. Let me see here. Where did I put this? I got so much stuff in here today. There, oh, there it was. There you go humidifier it is holds eight cups of water it's got a 360 nozzle yeah you can turn this so that it you can aim your mist anywhere it's got three settings you can either have the night light off or the night light on either way it is it run if you have it on low it runs for 24 hours also has automatic shut off when the water gets low so you don't have to worry I always advise you to go ahead if the water is low and turn it off anyway, maybe unplug it, but it does have an automatic one, but just in case if you're going to be gone, there you go, humidifier. And like I said, I just wanted to make sure we hit that four hour mark. And I know, let's see, Lamont is over on live stream gaming. It's me, Tyler, is going to be going live here probably in about 30 minutes. He'll have some great electronics. I don't know who else is live right now, but what I want you to make sure you do is if you've got things in your cart, go ahead and check out so that you make sure you don't miss any of those deals so that things get ordered because I had a lot of stuff in my stream today that actually disappeared because it was sold out. So, click the follow button, join us again when we go live, and I am so excited you spent part of your Christmas with me. Makes me feel good. I will see you again before the new year. In that time being, think of what your new year's resolution is so you can come in and tell us about it. So, you all have a, let me see here. Ooh. Trying to look here. Yep. I had to click that. You all have a great evening. I might see you again. You never know. It is 3.34 p.m. on the west side of the United States. December 25th, 2021. We made it through another year. Whoop, 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 whoop. And I'll see you again real soon.